but I don't know. I always uh, people mistake me for Asian a lot, and it's because of this. <laughs> I'm just if I smile too hard, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> uh, but see, I know a lot of uh, Hispanic people, and their uh, their hair is usually really short and uh, really straight. So I mean, exactly. That's why mine ends up like wavy at the ends. It's really, it's really weird. It's either super wavy or pretty straight. But then you've got like the mixed ones, like my sister. She's ha she's half black and half. Puerto Rican, so she's got like the really nice fluffy curls. Like if she if she combs that out, it's just whew, Bob Ross. <laughs> I know I have that problem. You know my curls. It's just you know it's tough. Such luscious locks stuff. Just run my my wife runs her fingers through my hair all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> and then she, yeah, and yeah. she wakes up. Goes that's not you. <laughs> My grandpa used to say that too, and he's like, "No, no, no! She runs her fingers through my chest hair." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because all of his hair was from here; it went from here to like his back and his chest. Right. All righty, let's get started. I'm sorry, man. <sighs> trying to keep, still not caught up on my sleep, and I had a cold for a week. It's just old age sucks. All right, folks, we've got a few, hey Tombstone. Yeah, yeah, I got your yeah, I just replied to you. Got your message. Uh, yeah, we will miss you Friday nights. We're gonna lose. It's just it's the way D and D works sometimes, or role playing games. You can work can be difficult, but we have to pay the bills, and so that comes sometimes first. Sometimes real life sucks. Yes, it does. But more <laughs> stuff is happening on the channel and channels, and uh, when that I keep teasing that, but we're finally getting all that information out and uh uh for our group here the 20th uh is a monday night we will be off just so y'all know um and i'm trying to make sure when that's if that's going to truly be bi-weekly or every few weeks but it you know for the moment right now uh we'll let y'all know that the 20th we will be uh running our wizards of the couch Round table discussion over on the new <laughs> Wizco Games channel. So, and I, yours truly will be hosting it and running all the streaming for a while uh, as I educate them and get the, everybody else up to speed, even though they can. I've got to get some overlays built uh, and we've got to get the programming all put together. But uh, we have uh, finally announced that. Uh, put that, I think the press release is on the server uh, and Facebook. If you haven't got to Facebook, hop over there. Friend me, I'll send you over to the other group and you can get involved and see what's going on. But we have got a lot of people are, are really waiting to want to know what's going on and how they can get involved and get on the channel. So I was, I was kind of surprised. We hadn't even published a Facebook page, I think, yet, and it already had like 500 followers. I was like, what? We hadn't even really put it out there yet. Hadn't said anything. People were already checking it out. <laughs> um, so that's not a lot, but it, when it's not even really published yet, it was kind of was kind of interesting. So that's I've got a lot. Influx. Yeah, I've got a lot to learn. So if you read the bios, they've all got these publishing bios and things they've done. I'm not like going. Yeah, I'm ready to play. Let's have some fun. I'm ready to learn. It's like <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but I bring some of the technical stuff and like I said, I'll be hosting and developing some of the programming on that channel. Plus here, Predators Reject will host a game or two over there uh, when we're not working here uh, and so we'll be uh, kind of running yeah, we're running two channels but uh, we will work them together and and, and, and great cooperation and, and uh, uh, working with the other guys and get some of that and the one of them other two of them will have their own channels too and doing some stuff on theirs and so it's going to be a, a lot of work, but a lot of fun. That being said, we are here for our Monday night ongoing Deadlands campaign. It's been a few weeks because of me being busy, uh, and so we're back at it. And uh, let's do our introductions. We'll try to get a recap of the shootout at the Raiders campsite that happened three weeks ago as they finally got their men back and men and women back and their cattle that were hooched from them uh and so um and what's next for the group 
as they move on up north through the Badlands and through Colorado and figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, Thaddeus, you're up first. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> Thaddeus Walker, I'm a bounty hunter, uh, searching for the people who killed my family and uh, making some money along the way, turning bad guys to Swiss cheese, being turned to Swiss cheese, you know, good old stuff. Right. Doc the Ivan. Ah, uh, yes, Isam the Daka, Ivan the Trino Verse, and uh, I am, I do not know what I am doing here, but I am looking for the ghost trucks and uh, a monkey. I has one monkey, but he is not quite a whole monkey. He's a little, um, squ- <laughs> Where's your monkey? Oh, yeah. What was your monkey's name? Where did he go? Is uh... Abel. Abel. Yeah, there he is. Okay. He's in the tracker, folks. Uh, uh, Father Anderson. Oh, yes, I am Father Alexander Anderson. I am here to spread the word of the Lord across the land. I've even got a couple of disciples following me around now. So they're helping me spread the joy of the war, of the Lord. Uh, that's true. Oh, I just deleted them. God darn it. Uh, let me go pull them back up. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, I, was, I was waiting for it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Uh, oh, Santia, would you say hello to everybody while I get my ship together? Hola, I am Santia Rosalina Morales, and I um, I'm here with the gang. <laughs> Just here after a giant shootout. Apparently, hopefully things are pretty okay. <laughs> Uh, why the hell did I do that? That was, um, not dust. Let me find them. I had them. They were a group already. Not in, okay, Sutter's, oh, I forgot that this module's not in order. I did forget that. Unexpected allies. There we go. Um, towns, folks. There they are. There are. Okay, well, we're going to put them in, actually, I was going to put them in a group of five, right? We were doing that that way. Uh-huh. Do that, put that back. Alrighty. We need to call them. What do you want to, what do you want to, Father Anderson, what do you want to call your flock? What is your... The Iscariot. I like this. Is that how you spell it? Can you see it? Oh, I need to actually. The Iscariot. Is that how you spell Iscariot? Is that right? It's in the combat uh, tracker. Let me double check. I think it's I S C A. R-I-O-T. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's just fix this real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also have a Discord message stuff. I do what now? What are y'all doing to me? Okay. There's uh uh oh. What did I do wrong? Um. You're you're not in your normal Zoom. Oh. What am I missing? What? Got a zoom There's a zoom slight zoom. edge of your screen that's off the. Uh, oh, is it really? Oh, screen. okay. Oh well, y'all can. I think y'all can see that, but they can. The overlay crops it out, so y'all can't see it. Y'all can see it because it's a full image. Um, but I don't believe. If you look at, let me see. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, see if right I. Uh huh. Yeah, I have the the overlay catches. Sorry, I was checking them, folks. Everybody's like, well, what the heck? Yeah. Um, it's scary. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah, I, I know what you're doing. I didn't zoom in a lot because I was trying to get myself a little bit more back, show my good, you know, good looking self. And not plus I have this boo boo on my nose. And so I was coming back out from it. Um, here we go. This scary. Let's do this. All right. The scary eyes. There you go. Okay. So we're good. But they can't, they can't see the edge of it. Uh, at least I don't believe they can. Let's see. Wee goes outside. See, we. Oh, they can. 
Ooh, see, look at that. Look, they can see behind the green screen there. Oh, well, then we got to fix that, don't we? Pay, uh, no, pay no attention to the stuff behind the curtain. Oh, it don't matter. Hell. Uh, <laughs> boom. There we go. Slide the green screen to the right a little bit, too, if I wanted to. All right, we'll get this shit together, folks. You know what? Hey, it's ain't Hollywood, baby. Okay, so we've got everybody on the combat tracker. So, yes, uh, three weeks ago, the... Yeah, she let them out Man, just right you. when I was so smart. We've been walking so much, my dogs are barking. <laughs> <laughs> and she yells at them and they don't listen to her. And she's the dog trainer. I don't get it. Um, yeah, so three weeks ago, the group uh, had made their way into um, the town of... Um, oh, hell. Some town. They made it a town. Um, was it an exposition? Yeah, they uh, y'all yeah. made your way through the. T- uh, well, actually, there was a little town and found out that uh, some uh, you guys have been. Um, it was a town right before exposition. Um, that some of the uh, hired hands had gone into town to get supplies. Had been arrested uh, and held prisoner by the sheriff and the marshal. Uh, the marshal that was there. Uh, and um, I'm trying to free them and rescue them. We were finding out that that marshal was actually in cahoots with another band of uh, raiders called uh, Galt, the Galt Raiders. And um, while y'all were sent in to get them out uh, and work on that, Galt and actually all his henchmen had raided the camp, uh, raided the, uh, the cattle drive and all that, and uh, hijacked Sutter. And all the head and took off of them. So y'all were trying to figure out what to do, knowing that there was a large number contingent of the men um, that were safeguarding and, you know, had to deal with. And so when you made your way to exposition, um, you found out um, that uh, one of the other railroads there that uh, Galt had actually been saying that he was working for and all that. Um, The um, it was the black. What was it? The Black River. Yeah, Black River Railhead um, had actually sent some enforcers in there to try to solidify this area as the railhead was moving through. And the uh, Constance uh, Merritt, one of the leaders of this group, um, sent enforcers with y'all to help um, take care of this problem once and for all. So y'all tracked in. Uh, I think uh, actually Thaddeus had done some recon before and discovered where the... Uh, the cattle were being kept in a box canyon uh, area, and so y'all went in there, guns a blazing, and killed them all. With uh, didn't the monkey get the final shot? Didn't, wasn't the monkey able? Didn't he do? Was he able? Um, I don't he, know that he actually killed the last. I can't remember if he was the last one that did. He, all, he got to hit no, something. He got shaken. Oh, he but, did. Oh, yeah, he okay. didn't get to kill anything. The mechanical oh, he, monkey. He powered down right after, uh, <laughs> right before getting. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Speaking okay. of that, uh, mm-hmm. Doc's gonna be making some modifications. Going to need a different mm-hmm. stat block. Go figure. And, and and of course, both the uh, <laughs> Father Alexander and Thaddeus both took their blue pills. That's right. They did. They did. <laughs> okay. Uh, and yeah, so they were finally able. They, they emerged victorious. From the shootout, and um, uh, were able to retrieve the cattle head. They freed Sutter and the other hostages. Went back in and got the other ones out of jail, and got the. Um, they found a stash of Confederate and Union bills and some gold dust. Actually, I keyed that in. Let's see if it actually transfers because I put it in inventory. But do you guys get it all? Goodies. It sure looks like it transferred. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think so. I mean, but it was at a. But is that a. Did it do it all right? It, uh, 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 <laughs> n- no. So, it. Yeah, 200. It was $1,000 in union bills and $500 in. $500 the- in Confederate bills. And There's so, not enough con- currency slots for it, so it. I see that. So yeah. there was four hundred dollars in gold dust. So I don't know why y'all have ninety cents. That may have been the starting money we had before. Well, 
y'all yeah, can y'all remove I, the 90 cents and let me give y'all the gold dust see what happens if i can give you the gold dust back uh-huh should we clear it all out just clear out the uh if you should only let's just do make well y'all had dollars um yeah. too but i don't see which dollars are we supposed to have as like well see main? Well, that's it. It was interesting. Dollar dollars were one currency. Then there's union bills and Confederate bills, and they're all different. So you, I say we, you're giving us four currencies, but we only have. Yeah, I see yeah, three. I see that. Yeah, and that's but that's but the uh, but the uh, in the uh, parcel um, was yeah. There's more than show. Do we Perhaps. just want to manually add the gold dust and yeah. the like notes tab there? Yeah, you just put it in your inventory um, if you want to uh, and give it just a simple weight. But there was, each of you have $100 in gold dust. All right, we can put it up we here, could, I think, Monday. Uh -huh. could, couldn't we convert that to actual, gold, uh, to actual dollars? I'll have to figure out what that is. I don't know what the current, I'll check out the, well... Yeah, I guess we could just do the four hundred as dollars. You could, you know, well, but say what's the yeah, gold has got so much of a well, buyback. Have to convert it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll find out what that is. I'll I'll look through the the rules and all that and see if there's any conversion rates or something like that because there's got to be for you to have that. But for the moment, each of you have a hundred. Just give yourself a pound or two. It's gonna. It's you know. It's gold dust. One no. pound of gold dust. Yeah, that's, that's a lot fine. Of gold dust. <laughs> yeah. So, but even if it's half a pound, because it depends on what a uh, hundred dollars in gold would, you know, gold dust would be. Yeah. Um, but that's a lot. I think back in, you know. Um, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you got it. Yeah, y'all got some money, but that depends on what the actual currency and transfer rate for the Union Confederate bills over what y'all could have. But I don't, I don't know if that killed. See, it lost your dollars, and some of you all had real dollars. I only yeah. had twenty-five cents left, so I just had <laughs> two fifty. I had three dollars. <laughs> okay, I, I had like one dollar in the Confederate. But I'm still showing just one dollar blank, and then two hundred fifty. Let me see what you got. Let's see. Yeah, see, so it didn't like. So you get um, get rid of the Can we zero. Just yeah, get for the well. If you, yeah, because you're gonna we'll convert this out, and I figure we'll get rid of the zero, get rid of anything else. Your union bills should be two fifty and one twenty five in Confederate bills, and then a hundred dollars in gold dust. Okay, which is that's yeah. Because yeah. then Sutter was also gonna pay, and I'll go back and look at what that is, and that's gonna you're gonna make some money there. That's coming into play. All right, I gotta, I gotta figure this out here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, but yes. So while you're figuring out, um, I will let you know that. So we round up the cattle, and Sutter and Abby are very, um, very grateful. They, um, you know, have become to trust the group a lot, even with your antics and eccentricities um, <laughs> that certain of the individuals have. Uh, especially around wagons and beans. Um, and um, so they round everything up and you've lost a few heads, but then also he's, when he takes them into exposition, he's got to give a hundred head, let me see, um, 50 head of cattle to Constance and the Black River group. Uh, and so y'all have taken a shot. You started off with a thousand head and you've lost probably about a quarter of that along the way. Um, and Sutter is, you know, um, he's not displeased, but he's also, you know, he's, you know, it's, you know, it, knowing what would have happened had he stayed in back home dealing with the Bayou Vermilion, uh, that, you know, he still likes his chances and odds here, but, um, it's going to take a little time to um, get things cleared up, get everybody kind of healthy. And actually, I was going to heal y'all because you're going to 
And so, where is my heal? Here I go again. <laughs> I think you know, we can definitely just click off wounds. Yeah, we can click off manually. wounds. Manually. Okay. Yeah, y'all can um, do that. But I also I, noticed there was there was actual dollars in that yeah. parcel, so I had to fix so, mine. Some of y'all had some. Oh, right, off, I didn't have so it. We got oh, I see. There, we so. did get actual dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there so was yeah, some I when you started off. Change what it was. Well, it's like I said, the, as Joseph was saying, there's, the issue is there's only a couple of rounds of currency where, you know, with like the 5E set, you've got, what, six slots? You know, here we've only got three. <clears throat> yeah, but what we just received, <laughs> minus the gold dust, is also 250 regular dollars? It's, no, no, it's, two, it's so, you got, no, it's 250 in union bills. This is, you know... Union and yeah, Confederate bill. It also bill. says dollars. It says a hundred gold, a hundred dollars of gold dust, two hundred and fifty in union bills, two hundred and fifty in dollars, one hundred and twenty-five yeah. in Confederate bills. Oh, the two hundred fifty. Yeah. Okay, that was for uh, the you each have. That was the reward for galt. Thank you. Yep, it was a thousand dollars reward for galt, and so I split that between that, the four of you. No, That's yeah. what it is. Mm -hmm. awesome. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're rich boys and girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. We do have quite a bit now. Okay. Um, and so that should, everybody should get clean. Yeah, everybody's nice and healed up. You take your time in town. And um, he is ready, you know, with everything that's going on. And he is still determined to want to march up north and head out straight um, toward Denver. Um, and seeing what's the possibilities of getting the cattle sold there. Um, and, um, you know, y'all have, run, you know, if it, you have dealt with a lot so far, learning how to rope cattle and yeehaw it out and bear, you know, and ride some horses and dealing with vermin all the time, not just men but vermin vermin uh and you've been attacked a few times um and and our pharmaceutical adventures have been most <laughs> glorious in fact how did you like the little blue pills um now were those were those uh, effects i would assume come off of them now yes they only last five rounds I, okay I, I, I was ask, uh, blah, i was asking that to the two in character <laughs> They're yeah, asking you, yeah, he's pills. yeah, he's asking the other two gentlemen, how did you like your blue pills? Ah, it was wonderful. It gave me the vigor and the strength of a thousand men. I feel like I could go for hours. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, it, it was glorious, Doctor. It was glorious. <laughs> so, should I make you another one, or would you like a little tweak here or that? Maybe a little something special. Now, now, if it lasts longer than four hours, are we supposed to seek medical attention? But if it lasts more than four hours, do come back. I would like to take some samples. Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> sorry, I went there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> We're back at it again. <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> People are going, what the hell is he talking about? Welcome to Dr. Inverse. Um, okay. <laughs> the mad scientist of the group. <clears throat> yeah, if he wants to make more, if you want to make more, I guess we could. I guess I could have another one if you would like to make another one. I will come up with something even better. <laughs> uh, I still don't know what happened to my hat. <laughs> That is yeah, a mystery to me still. <laughs> did, she, did we ever? She used she the hat, right? She never activated hers. Oh, she never did. Still tied up all my points. Yeah, and don't <laughs> we? And did we use all the glitter bullets? Surprise. No, I still have that four is? sparkly bullets. You got two yeah. sparkly bullets. Sorry, sparkly. I used yeah. glitter, but you know. Mm. Um. Okay. Um. So. Um. 
taking care of all that, uh, you do remember the few things that have happened uh, also that were very interesting is that during, um, you know, um, the journey up north, there was a lovely streak of fire that crossed the sky with large sounding booms and explosion. And you came across, unfortunately, it looked like a man in a Confederate uniform that had some weird, strange contraption on him um, that allowed him to have flight, uh, and it didn't go well for him. Uh, and I believe the uh, after studying all the doctor, you you have the plans hidden. I, I do, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been studying them. That's part of the reason that uh, Abel needs a new stat box. Oh no! He's uh, oh, he's no longer no. a uh, a bodyguard yes. construct. We've yes. uh, we've lightened his load and we've downgraded him to a an attendant construct. Uh, but he is flying. He's a flying. We have monkey. drones now. That's and wonderful. tales from the territory trails. Okay. <laughs> flying monkey drones. Pretty much. Is there a yellow brick road? I was getting ready to say, just say, yes, I exactly. I was thinking the same thing. You laugh, Duff. But, I'm not uh, laughing. I would never laugh at Dr. Versailles. Never. I'm pretty sure I can get up to, let's see, uh, almost 10 flying monkeys if I dump all my power oh, oh, oh. into monkey. I'm now, I'll have to make one more investment to permit actually gain the, uh, well, actually, I don't technically have to, but yes, if I dumped everything, you can have almost 10 flying monkeys. Wouldn't it be glorious? Someone reach out to Pinnacle and alert them that we are just totally, <laughs> you know, abusing that. You know, not, not abusing, but oh, no. uh, was this what they had intended? And I think I think they did. But, we'll uh, have flying monkeys and the Iscariots. The Iscariots, yes. Yeah, well, and the, yeah. Um, all right, so yes, they. But the doc, yeah, so the doctor has been studying the plans. Uh, and it got the Confederate Army kind of up in, uh, in a little turn, in a brouhaha, um, wanting to know, you know, uh, in return of their equipment. Um, and you, you did return it. Or actually, y'all left it there on the dude. We did. Um, and you, but you had the plans that he had in his, in, in his, in his, on his person. And that's what the doctor has. Um, and you also had a couple of, uh, at least one ambush with, um, some um, converted, basically, you know, um, Indian um, um, members. Now, that's not what I, the really I'm saying, but you know, na some native, some of the natives that had basically been converted and brought over and were with the uh, um, Bayou of a Million group. And I one of the, the black dogs still the black dog, us. the black dog. That's right. Yeah, and he brought a few of the their minions plus some of his own. Uh, and he fled the scene, uh, and you also have run into at least some rumors, an understanding that there is a uh, individual that has been um, stalking. We're not really stalking, but kind of mirroring your trail, or you know, in front of y'all from time to time, uh, a very gaunt individual that uh, looks like he's walking death, um, and has you know. And asking questions and kind of putting what you feel is just some testers and things in your way, um, as y'all have uh, um, worked with Sutter and the group. Also, let's see what else did we run into other than a few encounters with just large scorpions, that is his favorite, um, and some spiders, and um, I think that's it, and just some. Uh, just on our own with sh shenanigans, but the ta the trail will take you um, after Sutter. After y'all leave um, up toward Denver, um, Sutter um, will uh, let the group. You know, basically, you're not in a hurry. Um, you know, the journey's been long, but things have been. You know, uh, basically, things feel on the up and up. In that, uh, you know, um, if hopefully he's gotten some of the bad, you know, mojo behind him, and he wants to um, head on up toward Denver ahead of the group. He's going to get a lay of the land, see what's happening with the market and the industry up there for, um, 
getting the cattle sold to get some money so then he can plan his next steps. Um, and y'all um, get getting closer toward Denver actually when Sutter returns and guess what you know it's just not going to always work out for the poor man he seems to be always running in a bit of bad luck and he relates to the group that things um, unfortunately it looks like they got you know with all the shenanigans and things that have happened over time it slowed his arrival and time was not his friend that he got there a little too late um, between other Texas herds that are being run up uh, um, from the market in Dodge City and the Wyoming territories and uh, herds being driven down from there it's the price of beef is in the outhouse and it's I'm, I'm just a little bit better as what he calls a snake's belly above what the Bayou Vermilion varmints were offering um, but this time he's you know he's done his research across the board here and it seems like the price has stagnated and bottomed out um, but he says it's not all totally bad because he's not going to go back to Texas, you know, rich man, not anyway, but he did happen upon another, um, buy, seller that, uh, was wanting to, um, get rid of his herd because they were in a bad spot and they needed some money real quick. Uh, and so with some haggling and all that, he was able to buy up the rest of this other herd. That takes us takes the group up to well over 1,200, 1,300 heads of cattle. A lot for the group, more than y'all can handle with the loss of hands uh, and over time. Uh, it is uh, something that he's kind of concerned about. But he says it's not easy. It's even even a little bit better that he's also chatting with uh, this gentleman that he got he bought a union land grant up in the big horn basin up in wyoming that's a little bit larger fair sight larger actually than his spread down in texas and so he's tired of you know he's saying what he's feeling like is that dealing with a bayou vermilion and that there are up here maybe staking a new claim is that it's possibly that he's thinking he's going to want to take the herd everything up north and start a new ranch up in that territory and so he's looking across at everybody in the group all the hands and he uh, says that's the plan any of you that wants to ride with me um, uh, you are free to continue on those who don't I understand you get you paid out um, you're welcome you know to anything that I may owe you and there's no hard feelings and he is figuring you know uh, as he makes a play out that he's going to travel overland um, north out of Denver, cut the western corner of the Sioux Nations, and then forge right on up through what's known as the Winding River Canyon uh, and get to this where this new land uh, is um, being held at that he has the deed for. Um, he'll offer anybody $45 a month who wants to hang out. And he says, uh, you know, think about it take some time and let me know and he will um let everybody kind of part he will motion for the group of y'all though uh and and to abby to get y'all's attention and when everybody kind of pulls away and some of the you can hear some agreeing to it and liking it there are some definitely some of the cattle hand the ranch hands are not interested they they've had enough um they didn't you know they thought that the sign on was to get them up this far and be done with it and they're not going to continue on they uh can spend a little time in denver uh relax and then they're going to head back home but he uh he gets savvy and he gets the four of y'all together and he lets y'all know that you know you've done by right you've done done him right and um he uh you know has really appreciated all that y'all have done for him and abby uh, and it's been, you know, a good riding with y'all from the get go. Um, the deal is, and he's going to be honest with y'all that he's got a dent in his wallet with everything that's kind of happened and he's going to need to hire more hands. And he knows that by doing that, it will cut into the agreement with y'all that y'all have as a group, uh, and taking care of things. And so he says, and thinking about it, um, and how good y'all are that if the, you know, 
uh, if you're up for it, then he will give, uh, in lieu of payment, he'll give each of you uh, um, a, uh, a tenth ownership of the original herd. And when they sell it up there, it should make you a nice little tidy profit. And he kind of runs some numbers in his head. And like I said, um, he lost, um, you know, started off with about a thousand herd. You lost about a quarter. The, um, thinking that the, uh, um, you know, with the new numbers and all that, um, that it should take the group up to about 1500 head of cattle. And, um, if we can get him sold into the favorable market once these things going on, it's about forty dollars a head. He thinks he's going to be able to estimate down the line. And if y'all are interested in it, um, you know, when he says we you know, with attrition and all that, we'll see what we hopefully we can get up there with at least thirteen hundred head uh, when it's all said and done. And I was like, did I do my math right there? 1200 no I didn't so 12 about a, yeah about a, well no about 1200 so taking into account there so you know if he if he can do that and y'all are willing for it then he will gladly continue to let y'all continue on with what you're doing so you'll have a decision to make whether or not you want to continue on helping out or do other things. Mm. Head home. <laughs> Silence. It's crickets. The doctor's in the corner having a conversation with himself. You're still. Are you still hearing voices in your head? That's a permanent affliction. It's a permanent life. affliction. I forgot that. Yes. And they were sharing that with the group while they were in combat. If y'all remember. Oh yeah, what a what a wonderful time. <laughs> the doctor finds the most enjoyable. They are very helpful with his research. In fact, the little blue pill was their idea. They thought he needed. <laughs> uh, well, what 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 do you think? Should we continue to help, or should we should we stick around here and see what we find? Zilva talking to us. <laughs> Doctor uh, Thaddeus, Father Anderson, questions. Yes, Padre Thaddeus, Doctor. As a player, I'm thinking this is probably one of those "but thou must" situations. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, you know, I'm trying to railroad you in. Ha 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 ha. The is Prater there Railroad. Anything around for us to maybe, like, are there shops around? Maybe we can kind of. I mean, we did just come across some money. Maybe we can move on from. Well, you have. So you're, you're out. You're in Denver. Uh, and um, there is um, um, some work that he has to do. Like I said, he's going to put the word out to see. Uh oh. Falcon Wolf, we appreciate it. Oh, for an adventure card. So there you go, Falcon. Who, you're in your cheer there. Who would you like to give the adventure card to? You may choose one of the four. Your choice. And we appreciate the cheer bits, as always. Oh, wait, whoop, up, oh, up, oh, whoop, another cheer. Oh, well, then I have two <laughs> cards, or you can put, actually, what did I do? Didn't I have to put cheer Are bits? they trying to buy one for everyone? He's still going. going. He's still going, yeah. Yeah. yeah it looks easy. like it's, <laughs> do we know Falcon, I, I, I recognize That's the name, smart. who is, uh, there's Falcon Wolf. Uh, one for all. There you go. Okay. Well, then, they, and all for one. There you go, Falcon. I appreciate it. So then I have to thank you very much for it. And I do appreciate the cheers, cheer bits. Um, so 
I am going to award. I don't want to do that. Um, I don't want to reshuffle. <laughs> I just got to make sure I do this right. So, because then I don't remember. Now, how I give each every one of y'all an extra card. So, here's the deck. Can you uh, just roll I, and then? Pull? Okay, I just dropped one, and now I'm grabbing them and dropping them on y'all. Are y'all seeing an extra card? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yuppers. Thank oh, you. Falcon Wolf, I will uh, actually, actually thank you for reminding me, but I didn't get my bennies. So I'm going to, I'll take an extra Benny. How about that? Um, I'm going to draw a fate chip for me. Let me do that. If you'd like to do that, um, Falcon, we appreciate it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the Falcon, man. <laughs> oh, you're awesome. All righty. I do appreciate it. <laughs> We uh, love the bits, the bitty bitties, and we like playing this. We just hadn't been on a regular schedule, and with everything I've been, I've been getting my hands involved with um, for the Wizco group, Wizards of the Couch. I think we'd be Wizards on the Couch, but it's Wizards of the Couch. Um, everything else that's being planned. Okay, so you've got the bits. Oh, that's right. We're you stay hydrated too. So you gotta have water. So I'm, my AC's acting up, so I'm burning up. Okay, um, so that's yeah. The question was still, but is that he's going to go into Denver? He's going to spread the word around that um, he needs some new, you know, hired hands, and that um, you know, you know, you can, you definitely can find shops or stuff to do in Denver. Um, you've got a nice full hair, and so there's all you know. It, with what you're doing though, um, I've got to actually find a conversion rate for the dollars then. Um, because that would definitely, um, going to be a good question. Um, but they don't, they don't think they gave a conversion rate of the dollars, did they? Um, oh. Confederacy. Let me see. Go ahead. Def, this card that I just got, I don't know if it's supposed to be automatically played, but if it see. is, that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what card she got. Which one did you talking about? The newest one is called Enemy. <laughs> Unexpected. Oh, no, not today. Enemy. Play at the beginning of a session. A villain of the GM's choice become your character sworn enemy. You may not soak wounds caused by him directly. Starting now, draw an extra adventure card each game session until the enemy is retired. Oh, no. Play <laughs> at the beginning of the game session. Here, folks, that people want to see this. And then you got Falcon Wolf. Look what you've done. <laughs> I just looked at it and I was like, wait a second. Here, let me bring <laughs> over the uh, overlay here. Um, uh, bring this up real quick. Oh, look at my darn. It's, I got to fix <laughs> Fantasy Grounds. One second. And get back over here, Fantasy Grounds. Fix that. It always resizes. Well, I mean, I gotta for the to their portraits. Okay, so let's see what it says. Play at the beginning of the game session. Okay, a villain of the GM's choice becomes your character's sworn enemy. You may not soak wounds caused by him or her directly. Starting now, draw an extra adventure card each game session until the enemy is retired. Okay, so. You have a unknown enemy now, basically, well, Santia. That I. If you want to play it off of her um, nightmare, you can. Make would you? Would Would you PM me what that nightmare was so I don't so I can remember? I'm gonna, and you get a, and then it says, N starting now, draw an extra adventure card each game session until the enemy is retired. So basically. I give you another. Uh-oh, and I got another All another right. card. Interesting. Oh no, it's oh no. no. What's happening? <laughs> he bought he bought another card. <laughs> oh my gosh, another card. I'm gonna be You so didn't oh you held. Oh, well, oh, it's okay. 
Well, I, he, he, said, I, I promise. It's, but it's are you sure you want to do that, Falcon? Or do you, would you like to? Would you want another card, or you want to give a Benny to somebody? You can give a Benny to her if you'd like. Since <laughs> since she just got, I just gave her another card. Should we? She played that one and gets a new one in in return. But you did give her a sworn enemy, a Benny. So okay, so in in Savage Worlds, a Benny is in our case is like a poker chip. There's poker chips that they get, and um, they can play them to make rerolls or affect things in the game. So most of the time, it's used basically to reroll or soak a wound. There's things that are just basically. Um, just they're be able to affect the game, and there are three colors: there's whites, reds, and blues. And most of the time, they a lot of white chips. Uh, the red chips they really don't want to. They they can play them as a white chip, but they also can play them, uh, and it actually is good for me because then I get a benny when they play a red chip, if they play it that way. And what's the what's the red add extra to if you played as the red? Um, a d6. A d6. Okay, that's why. If they play it as a red chip, but I get another benny. Um, so and then a blue they get a blue benny which they can play and and get a d6 in it, and i don't get any favor for that um i'll let santia choose a benny or a card <clears throat> um you know what i'll stick with the benny you want another benny i'll take a benny Alrighty. thank you so much falcon wolf mm-hmm <laughs> You got a blue one. Ho, ho, ho. Yay. Okay. That's good. Blue Thank ones are good you. for the players. Okay. <laughs> um, so with that being said, while we're sitting here chatting um, and thinking about what you want to do uh, is that you can um, um, make your way. You know, y'all are in Denver while he, uh, while Sutter is looking for hired help. Uh, and keeping an eye on the um, herd, which is in okay, you know, there should be no issues. There's a good place where they are um, kind of all stocked up. Uh, kept an eye on the hands, and y'all take turns, you know, keep an eye on things, and also taking your time in town. Um, and um, what's up, Moon Dog? Good to see you. Um, so that's it. And so he will, you know. Let y'all discuss and determine what you want to do. But he says, yes, his offer is good in that if you will continue on with him, is that he will provide y'all with a much more lucrative stake than just the um, 40 or $45 per month that you would make riding with him. Um it would be an actual 10% stake in the sale of the cattle once they get everything up into Wyoming and from there. So I'm good with that. I mean, besides, it wouldn't be very uh, lordly to uh, leave someone in need of help uh, alone by themselves. Just because their situation has changed. Mm. We are going west. What? Ha I I was not paying attention. <laughs> you got to decide. Well, y'all have got to decide as a group whether you're gonna. Um. Uh, that, I, I've been listening. I, that was oh, actually. It. You're just. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, shut up. Mm hmm. I was looking at the uh, the library to see how much a Gatling gun costs, and I can't afford one yet. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I vote for following the cattle and keeping helping uh, them. See, yeah, me too. Just might be made. Might might as well. Agreed. All right, let's Here see. Is, are you coming with us? We are going. Is it time? Is it breakfast time? Did I? Is, 
Is it brunch? What time? What time? <laughs> brunch. <laughs> I don't. What time is it actually? I don't even know. Do what now? Brunch. Uh, <laughs> what time is it? It's a, it's whatever time you want it to be. So you because basically what's happening is y'all you know uh, are making your you know uh, you're doing your typical work. You know some of y'all. Uh, some of the group will cut loose from time to time and just, you know, we all take turns in and out of um, watching things or going into Denver to gather supplies and, and buy stuff or whoop it up a little bit. Um, spend some of that hard-earned cashola that you've got. Now, we still haven't had the answer, and I am sitting here going to consult the encyclopedia Google. Um, I don't know if... Deadlands um, currency conversion. <gasps> Would you believe? Oh no, they did! Unbelievable. I, I'm sitting here looking at the uh, Smith and Robards <clears throat> catalog. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ghost rock detector. De technically, the doctor can make one of those. It's quite expensive, but does a ghost rock detector. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna give him one of those? I'm letting y'all just kind of tell me what you want to do right now while things are in down mode. Um, By a monkey and ghost rock? And a very large bucket. <laughs> A bucket? I mean, Is that what you said? Preferably a metal one. A bucket. I heard him. Pretty much anything that I would buy, I can't afford yet. I don't. Oh, why couldn't they give me... I don't want to convert Deadlands into client. I want to convert the money. I want to know how much they convert and someone's put one out there but it looks like you gotta pay for it damn it and I can't do that right now um well let's see so how about we say crap um there were how what was the there was a thousand dollars in union money and five hundred in confederate right when I said which one would be worth more? I would figure the well, actually, not in this. I can't do that in this instance because the Civil War is, all, is still battling, waging on, and the um, there's been probably no probably the value is limited to where we're at. Probably Confederate money is useless in Union territory and <sighs> vice versa. Yeah, well, we, but we're in the, there's a Confederate fort and a Union around too, so it's a mix mash in this area in Colorado. Um, sure, yeah. just who do we try to pay it with? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying to get you so because if you want to buy stuff, because Thaddeus is like if he's already perusing through the Sears and Robux, that means he's going after his high dollar items, <laughs> okay? And he's going to want to know. I, I, I don't, I don't have the cash, no, we're, we're good. Yeah. I don't have enough. Uh, the, the bulletproof vest is 1800 and I don't have that. Um, that's a yep. lot. That's a lot. <laughs> the, uh, the, the Gatling gun's 1200 I don't have that. Plus, I wouldn't be able to move. Uh, <laughs> so, is that stuff good. actually I, I, like available for us to use? <laughs> a Gatling gun? If you have the money and the way to put it on the, con you know, to set it up, if you, you know, think the good doctor can come up with a, con a contraption to make, you know, your mini gun. Oh. You know, belt I mean, suit. We, there are, there are <laughs> Actually, if you go to the um, oh god, here it goes. Land Reloaded specific uh, weapons, the Gatling gun's fifteen hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Well, that's the actual Gatling gun that you can't move. There's there's three Gatling weapons: a, a pistol, a rifle, and a shotgun. <clears throat> wow. For personal weapons. And they're, <clears throat> I, I would be able to buy them, but they're expensive, and I'm not going Ooh, to. There's, uh, is that a grappling hook? Not going <laughs> not gonna to give up my uh, my two my two guns. Well, yeah, I'm looking at well, the, yeah. So there's the gat. Yeah, you're talking about 1500, the Gatling gun that's in the uh, player's hand, the play, the Deadlands Reloaded Guide. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, at the bottom there's uh, another section of just Gatling gun. 
Oh, is it really? I don't want to see. Sorry, folks. We're having. I wonder if I'm looking at the right thing. Gatling gun pistol. Oh, there. Oh my, there is. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, that's but cool. The actual Gatling gun. Up yeah, there the is one up at the top. Yeah, uh -huh, the big boy. Yeah, may not move. Yeah, you got uh -huh. a, a pistol which is 800, a rifle which is 1200, and a shotgun which is 15. Yeah, really a, a drum-fed shotgun for the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Iron Man suits coming together. A couple more uh, rank ups. Huh? Uh huh. Here we go. Yeah, that's true. But, guitar, but literally, harmonica. I mean everything. I mean, I'm fine with with my twin peacemakers and my Winchester. Uh. <laughs> Man. There's a bunch uh. of stuff. There is. So look through that while you're, you know, you're moving in into town, and um, you know, Sutter has made his rounds, and um, he uh, makes his way back to camp, and Abby is in and out, and she's filling up supplies and getting the uh, chuck wagon, and some of the hands that have decided that we'll stay on with the group, um, but um, so. The size, yeah, the size almost, yeah. So when the new herd and all that is basically almost doubled, it you know, went from a thousand down to about what we say seven fifty. But then he got, uh, yeah, he basically you've got over. I knew I was reading this right. I just remembered it. So with the new head and all that, you've got over two thousand head of cattle now in the stockyards, and that you know close to doubled the size of the original herd. And unfortunately, there are several of the original members of the crew are going to head back to Texas. Um, uh, only about half a dozen of the original cowboys chose to um, remain. So he needs to bring the total up to about 20 riders, including y'all, um, before he can head north. Um, and so the... Um, Word has been put out, and the um, doors have been kind of open, and he's kind of doing an in interview. And him and Abby um, will chat with uh, several of the, you know, some of the, you know, basically street people, street cowboys that those that are in town basically start making their way in, and uh, they're interviewing, and they've got some, they got a few that uh, definitely. Def, you know, sound a little literally wet behind the ears, or they can't keep their you know eyes straight because they're too damn drunk, um, and uh, a little maybe a little worse for the rare. But then they're actually they do start to fill up um, the uh, posse back up and the the working crew. Um, even get one uh, little cow puncher uh, young kid named Jay. Um, that uh, is very talkative and he um, you know gets in there and he's talking to her y'all you know you hear him chatting away about he's want to do this and he you know has learned lots of stuff on the trail uh, and is willing to get out there and really put his you know the put to self to the metal and understanding you know what it is like to live on the trail um, and you, you get a sense that he you know you know he, he, he's got the right words maybe just a little young a little rambunctious but um he's got the energy um and uh he you know y'all watch him he flirts with abby some and he you know quickly learns you know that she's not the one to be messed with and you know he uh you know definitely put off you know she puts him off a little bit but he keeps coming back around as sutter um um keeps doing the hiring and uh, he uh, definitely takes, uh, he gets up to close to you one day, Thaddeus, you know, and he, you know, he uh, is kind of like, you know, in awe, you know, the you, way you move and you're chatting and the way you hold yourself. I mean, you've got this growl, but he's not, you know, he's not scared of it too much. Uh, and he, you know, says, keeps asking you, you know, do you really, you know, you know how to use those? Like you, you know, they, they, so, so the chatty Kathy, yes, name's Jay Goodman. He shakes your hand. I mean, I'm Jay, I'm willing to ride. Uh, I want to learn. 
Who do you get? Can you teach me how to shoot like you? You bet. I bet you can shoot, can't you? Can you, can you hit this? And he wants, you know, he's going to go, I'm going to throw this rock out here. Can you hit this rock? I'm going to throw it up in the air. I watch it. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, man. Come um, on. I, I, I look at him and I'm like, you know, there's a there's this guy that, that is with us that would really love to talk to you. He's <laughs> over there. He's the guy with the weird metal cap. And the donkey. Yeah, but man, you look cool, man. You seem like mm-hmm. really cool. I want to hang out with you. You bet you can yeah, hold your own when you're out there. You know, what was it like being out on the trail? What'd y'all get to do and see? What happened out there? Thaddeus is making friends. Yeah, Thaddeus has got a friend right now. <laughs> he goes, what happened? Tell me all about it. Was anything cool? Nope. Just a normal day. <laughs> Like a teenager? <laughs> he's young. He's, uh, he's probably in early 20s. You know? Um, yeah. And he's got he's got an old... He doesn't have much on him. You know? Uh, he's, you know, his clothes a little worse for... You know, they they, they put together, you know, but um, they're definitely, you know, um, have seen better days. And his gun definitely, you know, it probably can shoot, but you want to, you know... Um, you know, you want to make sure that you're behind him probably when he shoots it. Um, and you know, he, you know, he, you know, watches you walk that is some, and he will, you'll, you know, as you're walking away from him, he, he watches and you'll, you catch my eye and he kind of, he's kind of trying to walk like you and pick his boots up like you walk and he kind of looking around yeah, and he kind of, he gets oh, his goodness. gun. And, this guy's going to have to get shot. You know? Oh my God. Yeah. Uh-huh. But you know, he says, "Come on, Thaddy, tell me. Show, come on, you want to show me? Come on, show me how. To, what happened? I want to know. I really want to know. Tell me, tell me what happened out on the trail. Was it cool? It was just, tell me something cool. It was just your typical day. Oh, come By on! Way, you know, All this way up you, from Texas, man. I never been to Texas. What's it like in Texas? Is it really hot out there? Like they said, man. I heard y'all have tornadoes. What are the tornadoes like? Your, your gun is uh, quite uh, in in some bad shape. You might want to." Uh, well, show, you want to show me? Show me one. here. Show me. Show me. Now show me your gun. Show me. Show me how you clean it. Oh, Thaddeus, are you making friends? What's happening? And, and so Santiago, well, you'll walk up and you're hearing what's going on, and he'll turn and he'll turn and look at you and go, "Ooh, hello, Senorita. How are you today?" It's been a can, momento. Can you shoot like Thaddeus? Slow down. Slow your roll, chiquito. Okay. I take this moment to turn and stealth away <laughs> what happened uh, to you you seem really cool so so being a female on the trail is it really hard to ride with all those men how do you take how do you protect yourself i'm going to roll language to see if she picks up all of his english <laughs> okay <laughs> <clears throat> That would okay. be yes, you do. Yes, you're she quite. Does. Yeah, and he and he and he can he he'll catch that you're looking at him like that, and he he goes, yeah, I know. I talk really fast when I'm excited and a lot, but you know, y'all really are cool people, and I really want to get out of here, uh, and I want to ride with y'all. Uh, and Mr. Sutter said he'll hire me, uh, but okay, I want to make sure I don't okay. get in trouble. Calmate, calmate. Can you tell me? Um, why you are so interested in leaving? I thought, man, I want to go out and learn. I got to go out and, and become, you know, become a cowboy. I want to shoot him up. Ride a cowboy. So, you know, y'all y'all got to bring all these cattle in here. And y'all look like y'all have been out for a while. You know, come on, tell me. What happened out there? What's it like out on the trail? It is dangerous on the trail, chiquito. There, no, it's not as what? glamorous. Why are you all the way up here? Don't you, you know, aren't you, aren't you from Mexico? Where's your family at? Ooh. <laughs> That's a bad question. Ooh, let's see if he notices. Ooh. His what where is did he get to see? There's Jay. Real Come quick. here, Jay. Uh, <laughs> what what weapon is that is he has he got? He has just a simple old peacemaker. He's got you know, a simple peacemaker and a rifle. But they they're a little dirty, you know. Um, you know, he, um, well, he, why does Jay, okay, that's not Jay. 
Jay does not have a badge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, not hey, Jay. Daddy, you show nope. him your badge. I'm sure Ooh, he'll love Daddy's it. Daddy's got a badge. Oh, Daddy's, come here. Let me see your badge, Daddy's. Oh, come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, see your badge. Is, is, gone. Is, is it back and shiny? <laughs> he's going to go, where'd Thaddeus go? I'm, I'm going to find him. He's going to, so is it, see, you can tell how he walks because he drags this one leg, you know, and, you know, and he walks this one and he's got this little divot in his heel right here. And so you can watch him and you can follow. And he's going to walk around and he's going to investigate. And he keeps, oh, yeah. And he found, he comes up. Thaddeus, where are you going? And he sees you walking and trying to slink away. And he goes, come on, you got a badge, Thaddeus? Show me your badge, man. What kind of badge is it? Is it shiny? <laughs> is it, well, how many points it got on it? Where do you, where do you get Oye. a badge from? Oye, chiquito. <laughs> Calmate. Ay, Dios mío. Where are the other two? Where's the father? Then you'll have somebody else. That he's, he's got those funny people that will follow him around all the time. They're always be whispering and they're praying a lot. El they padre look, is they look scary. With his um, disciples, uh, I think he is, uh, como se dice, um, como se dice, what? 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 Mm -hmm. I'm not hungry. Thank you. Maybe we eat later. Oye, Chavito. Is this a thing that's come on? Duff, I I'm going to go find a, a, uh, a gun shop. And, and buy a Colt Lightning, the 38. <laughs> Can I come with you? I'm going to come with you. Oh, Thaddeus, you're yeah, But you got to tell me. Come on, Thaddeus. Come on. You Thaddeus. You got, I'm come on, Thaddeus. I'm completely I'm Come on. Done, I want to know what happened on the trail. You can't leave me hanging like that, bro. We're bros. Man. <laughs> we're part of the... We're, 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 you know, it's a new word that's kids use. We're, you're, we're squad mates. We're called a squad. <laughs> Oh, no. I'll, I'll pick up a Colt Lightning 38 <laughs> with a with a thing of ammo. You can't. Okay. Ooh, you're gonna let me. You're I gonna show me know. how. Can I shoot that with some time? Can we? Can you show me how to shoot it? Come on, Thaddeus. <laughs> show me the badge. You got a badge. Come on, badge. That you got a really bad. You're a really cool dude, Thaddeus. As he's talking to me, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take his old gun, throw it on the ground, shoot it <laughs> with my peacemaker, and replace it. <laughs> Colt Lightning. You're not gonna <laughs> shoot his gun. Really? You want to shoot his gun in the middle of the street? That might actually, I'm, you know, gonna... that might actually get you in trouble. You know. Is that? <laughs> Just so you know. Now, just, are you trying to buy your new friend a gun? I'm, Why? I'm buying, that... a, I'm buying him a good gun because the one he has is a piece of crap. No, it's just oh. dirty. It's just dirty, man. I just got to clean it. You got to show me, man. If you really want to show me, cool. Show me how to clean a gun. Maybe we can go clean a gun or we'll go get a drink and have to clean a gun. Okay? Orale, daddy, show him how to clean a Santi, gun. Santi, you can come too. Por you can show me how to clean your gun. You come over here and show it's me. Tell me. Oh, it. come on. I want to know about the trail. You guys are going to tell me about the trail. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> I think the first is there a really person to tell about the trail in is town? the <sighs> Oh, here comes that here comes that father guy again with his freaky people, man. Look at him. <laughs> and that kind of, and so, father. So I'm looking for I'm looking for a well for water. Mm. Like the old oh, I don't know. It's probably you. Yeah, I don't know where the well's at. I just you know. No, no, I, I, I'm looking for it. Well, and he says, "Oh, he, I don't know." Okay, we. Well, yeah, I'm, have to go I'm find not him. asking him. It's in Denver. They got uh, running water, pal. Oh, they got running water. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking city. for a really deep freaking hole to toss his crappy gun down. <laughs> I like my gun. You can't have it. That's not. I know better. You don't treat guns like that. You wouldn't oh, do that. Oh, you. Are you getting rid of that? The no. Doctor oh, doctor. Ooh, doctor. Take it you're out really of his cool. Head and just kind of what is this? Off. What is this? And he goes, "What is this? This looks really cool." And he starts to reach up and try to grab your cauldron and all that. He goes, "Ooh, what is this? Is metal? Is this oh. hurt?" And he hits it. Bam! 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 And oh no! Sure. Goes, uh, and with that, we're gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna activate. It's Did okay. I activate the helmet? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we're gonna zap him with a stun belt. Out, oh, outside. That happens sometimes when that when you talk. <laughs> Hi, Chiquito, don't hold touch on, the hold on. colander. Hold on. It's a bigger roll, or he's stunned. <laughs> <sighs> he's in the combat the tracker now. They're going to hurt poor Jay. He doesn't do any damage. 
he whacked him on the colander. The like, colander. Bam, bam, bam. What does this do? Yeah, he does. I, I it, can't make him roll the figure I know. like this. I got, oh, I got a stash. Trust me. He's got a stash sheet. Trust me on this one because yeah. he's going to be around a long time. Uh, oh, that is going to have a bigger roll. That's your mortal enemy. Kill him now. <laughs> no, so, he's not. Sadly. So he, he feels a little shy. Ooh, that was that was that was, felt great. Whoa, wow. Does that happen all the time? Doctor, you gotta show me what else is going on. What else are the what other oh. cool stuff, Doctor? I bet Come you have me. lots of cool I can stuff. Use a test subject. No, not that. I, I what else have you made? The doctor, the kid's gun. He uh, doc- wouldn't have given up. So uh, yes, you try, he wouldn't have given up his gun easily, Thaddeus. Okay, you know That's that. That's fine. You're gonna try to steal his gun. Go. I'm going to take his gun, acting like I'm looking at it to inspect it and see what's wrong with it. See how badly it needs cleaned. <laughs> Look it up to him all like that. Roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, son, oh. Of, son of a bitch! <laughs> Is he smart enough to beat it? No. Oh my god. So you take his gun, and what do you do with his gun now? Um, first off, I, I, I put the clean new one in the holster and tell him it's a loner until this one's clean. And I'm gonna give it to the Is doctor. it better than the one you just took from him? It's brand new. It's a go- <laughs> what? What did you just give him? A Colt <laughs> Lightning. What did he have? He had a Colt Peacemaker. Oh, then that's better. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm sure it is. Hold on, let me get this because I gotta put it in his party sheet. <laughs> you gave him a Colt, Colt Lightning, Lightning. 38. Over that 38 there. is not comparable to a 45. Yeah, it's <laughs> cheap old business. Uh, it's uh, 13 uh, over. Quitting uh, damage wise. It's the same. Damage wise, it's the same. Oh, well, actually, it's plus one on the peacemaker. Where yeah, plus one. <laughs> you give him a 38. Oh, don't open up here. Open up the deal. Hold on. You gave him a piece. automatic. I mean, come on. <laughs> He's got it. You're going to take his peacemaker away from him. J- just so it can get clean by the doctor. Yes. Here, have this derringer. <laughs> No, but he's looking at the doctor's doctor. What else can you make, man? What else have you got? Oh, what other cool stuff have yeah, you seen, yeah. doctor? Come on. Yeah, You've got to have seen some this. really cool stuff. He's going to reach into his bag and pull out a uh, a pill and a little flask of some colored liquid. This is... Um, here, he's going to take the pill. Mm, is it this one? or? Yeah, we'll just put them together. And he's going to drop the pill in the flask he's and shake it up. Bean ba- buzz, buzz, what boozle, being boozled oh with his God. own stuff. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. drink this. It will be great. I'm, 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 not, I'm not hungry. That's okay, man. I want to no, know. No, come here on, you go. Come and on, he's going to try, try come like. On, come on, Doc. Tell me what you, you have found. You, try, you had to find some really cool stuff on the trail. Come on. Tell me all about it. Nobody's telling me anything about what y'all did. What brought y'all to Denver? Uh, I wasn't joking. I'm now trying to force feed him this potion. <laughs> Yes. See what happens. Oh my God! Made me a strength check. A uh, strength check. Okay. The doctor's finally getting into giving a roofie. Somewhere there, we knew we were gonna get you sooner or later, Joseph. Okay, you're roofing it. Prater got you a year, a long time ago, and now you're returning <laughs> the favor. Okay, oh, I see no. how it is. What is a five? Okay. Oh, it's a tie. Roll it again. No, you know what? Actually, no, you're going to use the Benny? Not. No, I am going to use a card. Oh, hell no. Here it comes. There you go. Instead of rolling a trait, play instead of rolling to make a trait test with a single automatic reins. <laughs> oh, my wow. Lord. Okay, so what did you just roofie the kid with? Uh, it would be a shrink potion times two mixed with a disguise potion that will make him look like a monkey. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you just say he's going to look like a monkey? Uh, only for ten minutes. <laughs> yes, he's going to be a oh half size monkey. For no, no, minutes. no. Actually, he's going to be the size of a house cat and a monkey. So he's going to be like one of those little, like, so yeah. Spider like a little yeah, a little spider monkey. monkey. Yeah, a little spider. Yeah, yeah. yeah a cap- yeah, a little now, cap- he cap- does get a resist for the um, 
the shrinkage. Oh my god. So it will be my uh my casting versus his spirit. Let me just go ahead and get that in there. Yeah. Oh, and it was a consumable, so it gets a plus one. Yeah, he his spirit needs to be the nine, or uh, he gets shrunk down to the size of a house cat and turned into a monkey for. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh no. it's what? Glorious! And he's going to scoop him up. <sighs> but not, but, but, but he's bucket? not. He's not a monkey. He just looks like one. He just looks like a monkey. He can still be him. What you do to me? Jump back in that monkey! Come on, he's like, oh here. You know, we'll, you know what? You know what? You want to? You want to play now? Okay, we can play. Here, turn on my. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. What am I gonna do to my voice? Let's find out. What can I uh -oh. do? Yeah, I can do my voice. Yeah, exactly. Turn me. <laughs> Turn me off! No, that's not gonna work. We gotta find one that works. Why is it not working? One, two. There we go. Hey, Papa Pig! Papa Pig! Where are the monkeys? Come on! Hey, hey! Where's that fair? Has anyone seen a bucket just big enough to fit a few pounds of ghost rock in a small detonation device under? I'll I'll go buy a bucket real quick. <laughs> We Has anybody to seen any ghost rock? We didn't want him to be a monkey. That's I not very real. nice. Not very nice at all. Let me turn off my reverb That's here. Like, is that like Praetor coming down from the clouds? Mm -hmm. You're not yes. very nice. <laughs> he reaches across dimensions and comes down his hand like Monty Python and he <laughs> swipes the doctor. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yes, the doctor's gonna be running around town like everywhere up to everyone he sees as fast as he can with this little screaming monkey in his head. Do you know where I can get some ghost rock? I need some immediately. Adios <laughs> 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 mio. <laughs> well, we seem to have gone off track a little. Just just a little. Um, says the doctor he runs around. NPC and that's what uh, happens. Yeah, did, was that a little loud there, Falcon? Sorry. <laughs> did I get a little? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't know I got that loud. <clears throat> oh, <Buddy>. scare the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I haven't played my voice stuff in a while, but uh, good thing, Doctor. We will be programming monkey voice into the board now so that. Uh, because I can see that's going to happen probably more than once um, to, poor, to poor Jay. Because <laughs> um, Jay's now going to be a, an integral part of the posse. Um, Providing he doesn't actually shoot himself while cleaning his gun. Yeah. So in the 10 minutes I have my miniaturized monkey, am I able to find me a bucket and some large amounts of ghost rocks or other explosives? You can find you a bunch. <laughs> you you, you'll be able to find you a uh, bucket. The question is the yeah so crap. I will accept TNT at this point in the critical <laughs> stage, <laughs> and I'm sure that there's TNT around. Yeah, y'all are mean. To, Do not to, worry. To my we NPCs. Right <laughs> it was it was not up to us what happens when someone talks to a doctor. It is out of our hands. So the he question asked is to so, something good. No, no, so the qu <laughs> he did. Okay, uh, so <laughs> he got the money. The question is, honestly, you've asked this several times, how the hell we've got to find your, uh, the doctor is definitely in the mood or wanting to find Ghost Rock, but I'm trying to remember where. It's expensive. It's under, I forgot how much yeah. per pound. It's in the equipment. Is it? Is it really? Let me look. Yeah, there's a price per pound of it. It's pretty expensive, but there's a price per pound. A hundred dollars per pound. Mm. Where is that? Where are you seeing that at? Under which one? Under which under uh, items? The Ghost DLR. Rock. Oh, I see it there. Thank you. Um, Ghost Rock a pound. It's a hundred bucks. 
It's pretty expensive. You got a hundred bucks? I do now. We do now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with your ghost rock in your bucket? I'm going to put a small piece because uh, if you there's some calculations in here how powerful this stuff is. Underneath the bucket with a, uh, a fuse and then I'm going to tie my monkey to the top of the bucket and light the fuse. Well... The monkey is going to fight you on this. It's not going to be sure. just a... Okay, where did Jay go? Not darn it. Uh, the shrink, do I need to put it on there? Yes. Uh, there you go. It has oh some Oh my effects. god, it does. Yes. Am I, what? That is just unfair. So he's going to try to run away. Because he doesn't like... Being tied to a bucket. Um, tied to a bucket. He is. He's tied him to a bucket, folks. Well, I'm so, going to be tying to him to a bucket. Yes. Yes, I know. Poor Jay. He yeah. will be so fine. I have done the math. It, it will not be enough to get him into space yet. Yeah? He's going to try to escape. So he's going to see if he can make a, a dash here. Uh... <laughs> He's not even going to yeah, get. He's not even going to get out. Affected by the shrunk. Oh, was it two shrunks? Is that what it is? That uh, it's per stage, depending on how many points are dumped into it. Oh, and so you it dump. You dump than, several stages in it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. He took the red pill, not the blue pill. <laughs> um, <laughs> poor Jay. So what are you doing to Jay now? Poor Jay. He's trying Tying to get him away. To a bucket and launching him like a. Black cat under a coke. Oh no, no, no! I'm pretty what? sure Santia would probably try and put a stop to that before it. Do not worry. Help me, we help me, Santia! He's yelling. Help me, 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 help me! I don't no, 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 no. I just want to be real, friends. This is how you treat friends. Monkeys. Real monkeys, not people monkeys. He's going to run over there and grab Jay's arm and hold it up. See? He has the thumbs. <laughs> help me. Help me. Please, Antia. Please. Yeah, I'm not going to oh, talk loud. Know. I'm not going to talk in monkey voice right now. So you're just, you know, he's screaming and he sounds, yeah, like a monkey in distress. Is he screaming? This is nice. I'm riding with y'all. This is not how you treat friends. You're not a monkey. You are a test subject. You are not friend. You are a test subject. This means nothing. He got hired by your boss. He, he the doctor wasn't paying attention when that happened. <laughs> That's no lie. Oh, doctor, you cannot explode the, the the boy monkey man. No, no, we are not blowing him up. We are blowing him up. <laughs> You cannot do either. Cannot and where do you think you're going to perform monkey. this maneuver, Doc? In the city of Denver. Um, well, let's see. The street Wait. outside of wherever he just bought this bucket? He doesn't care. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, we're about to have a tug of war with this bucket and monkey boy. <laughs> help me! Help me! Santia, help me! <laughs> the Doc! Oh. The Doc is crazy! He's crazy! Someone get me no, out of here! Just like the men at the Boy. university. You blow up one laboratory and everybody says you're crazy. <laughs> so is the doctor preparing the monkey launch device here? Yes. Not, Santia, not what are you she's doing? going to stop it. <laughs> so how do you well, want to stop Is he attached to this bucket? <laughs> I don't know what he, he's basically got his ghost rock now. If he spent his hundred dollars on his oh ghost rock gosh. and he bought a bucket. Yes, and how much is a bucket? So I don't have much to Oh, take I don't off. know. Hell. Is it in I don't, the, I don't think there's one rock? in the. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, is there just L gear notes? Common items. Um. I don't remember um, ever seeing a bucket in well, there. Well, just you make it like a canteen, just a large like canteen, and there are a buck, so make it three bucks. Okay. And how much is a rope? Where is it? 
Rope <laughs> is five bucks. So eight dollars. Okay, hundred eight dollars later, I have my <laughs> first uh, rocket test. So yes, he's going, going to, to wrap him. this rope around the monkey tied to the bucket, and he's going to chip <laughs> off a little piece of ghost rock and put it underneath the bucket, and then set the bucket. Do not worry, I have a little helmet for you. And you put that like, little helmet and put it on his head. <laughs> Close. Oh no, uh, no, no. Where is a lighter? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, she's gonna definitely you have go been... over there and and grab this. She's gonna grab the tied up monkey. She ain't gonna untie him. She's just gonna grab him that way. Be like, Doctor, no. No. No, I got You will not you. stand between me and science. <laughs> this is for the greater good. I will not mankind. stand between you and your science as long as you find a real monkey. This is not a real monkey. This is a person looking like a monkey. This is a real monkey yes. talk? No. <laughs> Get me out of this thing. Whatever you did to me, you meanie. <laughs> no, no, you, you are fine. That is Baker. Uh, the, the man, um, <laughs> what did he, uh, he, he went away. Uh, I found this monkey. He, um, yeah. No, you didn't. My name is a Jacob and like... I'm a uh, hired help. <laughs> bum. Get me this out of this is, thing. Whatever you did to me, make it go away. Young, this is the young man that came and would not stop talking to Thaddeus. Here's my persuasion, Rel. <laughs> you're uh, you're oh, trying to persuade Lord. her? Is that what you're doing? Here we go. Yes. Okay, well, here we go. There's not deception here, so I'm just going to persuasion. I don't know what I have to roll for. What do I have to roll in? Uh, Common sense? Uh, yeah. Common knowledge? I think, is I it know. rolled in with common... Uh, uh, nope. Let's see if persuasion... Maybe change it, so let's see if it has a... Yeah, I'm going to see. Um... Uh, most of persuasion is just the. Uh, I don't think there was contested. Let's see, there's contested. Persuasion is spirit, so should I roll a spirit or a smarts? Smart. I would think it'd be smarts, wouldn't it? Okay. Marks for eight. Okay. And I'm using a Benny to add a D6 to my. Oh, look at him! <laughs> ah! Just failed by one. Okay. By one. Santia has the monkey no. in her arms. She has saved we Jay. We do not blow up little monkey people. Only monkeys. I told you we are not blowing him up. We're blowing him up. <laughs> Ah, does that mean you're going to give me back my monkey? No, pinche pendejo! Does that mean I get my monkey and my bucket? <laughs> <laughs> she's going to run off. She, she's just going to walk off in... In her little rage, she fit a rage. With the monkey, uh, or did you leave the monkey on the bucket? No, she's taking both the bu the bucket and the monkey. She could leave the ghost rock. She's taking the bucket and the monkey, walking back to. Um, so she's got the oh, monkey in the arm. The, the bucket's being dragged behind you she's by about fifty the kid. feet. She's got the kid under her arm since he's still a small monkey. She has no idea how long it's gonna last for. She just knows that he's a monkey, and she, she's got a bucket because he was tied up cartoon style, wasn't he? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, he was tied up. So the uh, doctor wants her up and grab the rope that's attached to the monkey and try to yoink him out from underneath her arm. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, my strength throw. There you yeah, go. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Monkey, Jay, come here, Jay. Jay is going to see if he can untie himself with... Um, he's got oh he's got a lot picking let's see if he can use that he's going to try to untie himself while uh, my Santia's got him in his arms oh god oh wow he is, he has untied himself from it and you pull the rope 
and it comes loose and it just falls to the ground as Santia walks away with the monkey in her arms. Okay. Wait, <laughs> the doctor is going to chase after him then. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Father, my, Alexan Father Anderson, what the hell are you doing while this is all going on? You're too damn quiet over there. We gotta get you involved in this mess. I, I sent you a link in Discord what I'm doing yeah, while this is going on. He did. Oh hell did he? I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Oh a video oh my god, now what? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Deep, what? Oh I gotta add one moment. Okay, I was. Please don't tell me it's the Monty Python deal. Yeah, it is. There you go. I was gonna do that. I was gonna do that to you, but I was. I was gonna be. You know, play it. Yeah. Oh yes, good. Well, he said we're just walking around chanting, so you know. I told him that his father was praying. <laughs> Problem yeah. they did not believe. Yeah. So that's that's so the doctor and his his uh Am I his are, with him right now? Yeah, are coming down the street right toward y'all. The monkey! Quick! Get the monkey! No. <laughs> and you wonder why I took two weeks off. She she's got him. She has got this monkey in her hand. I need a I need a stand in. Actually, you know what? <laughs> oh no! Now what are you gonna do? There it is. He's a blue. Mo yeah, that's the monkey. So he's got the monkey in his hand and her hands, and she's running off. And and the monkey's looking at her with just love and just respect. And oh my God, you have saved me from this madman. Oh God. So I'm, I'm assuming the doctor is still chasing her, right? Oh, yeah, apparently he's <laughs> after her now. Uh, well, she's got, she's got some distance to him because he he was pulling on the rope thinking he was going to get the monkey and it, and it went slack on him. Can, can I use this on Santia? Oh, my God. Oh, now no. What? what is happening? Can, uh, is that something I can use on myself? Oh, boy. No, it says so. You you are your dist well you, your distance is doubled for a day or one character gains double pace. <laughs> Suddenly, I just have a second wind. Oh my god! Oh, they didn't see that. I'm sorry. I was like showed that in chat, but I don't have the uh, overlay showing. All my pictures. Poor Wiley Coyote chasing chasing the road runner, and the road runner going. <laughs> <laughs> And the Roadrunner being Santia. <laughs> we'll see you, well, Falcon. We'll see you next time. Appreciate the bennies, man. Really do. So, I mean, if that's possible, I, I'll, I'll use it. I mean, you can, yeah, you're, everything's possible. We're being, you know, we're having fun. <laughs> as we're trying to just to get to provide Jay Goodman escape maneuver from the doctor as he's trying to launch right. his first subject to the moon, the test subject. Yeah. So, so, you're doubling her speed? Oh god, here he goes. Oh my oh gosh, my god. here we go! <laughs> yep, I'm going to double send his speed. There you no. go. She has a second wind, and she's just gone with the, the doctor wind. is going to need six seconds. <laughs> Let me find it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, a ra that's a round two, right? Or is it done yes. differently? Yeah, okay. Whatever a round is. No, yeah, well, it's close. Hey. No! I'm going to use a Benny to reroll that. <laughs> Ooh, I miss you guys. <laughs> the doctor will not give up. Perfect. Oh. I now can uh, teleport uh, 24 oh. yards at for three times. So what are you doing now, Doc? You're trying to teleport uh, in front of her? Uh, well, I now have a teleport movement speed of 24 plus my movement speed if we were so an yeah, effective yeah. pace of 18 <laughs> yeah so you're you would you're definitely be able to get in front of her because my pace doubled is only 12 yeah yeah so i mean so uh, he just teleported oh, oh, she's running is that is the running doubled as well 
Oh, whatever yeah. the pace is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So running is is that automatically double the pace or? Uh, you roll your pace die. You roll your pace die. Okay, then let mm -hmm. me yeah. find out. That's oh, okay. the, the... <laughs> so double. <laughs> that's twenty four. So we're equal. <laughs> well, except for I can run with that as well. Oh my god. So, so I'm up to 21? Uh, uh, no, uh, did I roll one on the die? That's uh, 19. So do I, do I outrun your teleporting? Wait, why is my pace die a 4? I don't know. Did you remove your wounds? Or you're, sh oh. you're not shaking any? I forgot. I have to fix that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where is it? Doggos! Yeah, they're barking again. The cat's walking around. One hey, of the okay. cats. Sorry, I bugged it out <laughs> earlier. Hello, bonbons. Okay. How so. Oh my god. Alright, well yeah, now. We were, yeah, okay, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're catching up. You're cat you and Santier <laughs> are playing rugby with a monkey. Okay. Uh, who here has seen, um, oh gosh, bro, you know what I'm talking about, the chase scene, Kung Fu has I don't know. Rose trying, he is busy whacking his head with a board. He's praying with his disciples, like yes. I said. The monkey boy he is, he is me. Yes, he is teaching them <laughs> deep thoughts. And Thaddeus went shopping. Um, no. <laughs> I already did my shopping. Yeah, he's watching this from a, from one of the porches or whatever. You know, <laughs> he's I, got like I'm, chewing tobacco. Oh God, now I'm what do I get? With, I'm sitting with my arm on coke. Hey, I just created Hold a professional wig cycle. Oh, oh my God, that's me. Sorry, you got a commercial. I'm, I'm sitting here with. You know, I'm kind of like just leaning back on Cobra, my my poor Mustang, and and laughing the whole time. <laughs> Your actual Mustang? Yes, my, my I named my horse Cobra. <laughs> really? Yeah, I see. Yeah, the the the, the, awesome. the, the, the running speed. Yes, I see. If we could only oh. do that. Yes. Oh, oh my God! Only in those we moves. Both, we both maxed out our running. <laughs> so they're chasing each other through town. <laughs> Apparently, over the monkey. So yeah. now, I only have ten minutes to launch him into space before I'm launching a person. And we are not ready for people yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm letting y'all play this out. So it's Jay's life is at stake here. A member of your posse. <laughs> trying, trying to rescue the the monkey boy. The doctor has gone off the deep end. Yes, he has, but he always was off in the deep end. I, I was fixing to say, what's new? Yeah, what's new? The doc? Yeah, so... But he's not a real monkey, doctor. So you're just chasing each other through town. Uh, can I, I'm going to try and reach Sutter, I guess. Okay, so that will be on the outskirts of town. Yeah, he will be back at the main... Um, Camp, camp just right outside of town um him and <laughs> abby will be um there um there doing inter doing interviews and all that. yeah they're just they're still doing new hires they still got a, they've still got some a few <laughs> spots to fill okay <laughs> i Are guess you, she's gonna head over there trying to take this little dude with her since he talks <laughs> Yeah, the monkey's yelling. Yes, save me, save me, save me! Oh, and you, you can run. Y'all are running toward the camp. And doctor, you're following. Right, you're just tell. How many? How often can you teleport? I've got three of them, but between that and running, I should be able to get ahead of her. Well, quickly. I was gonna say she's only got it for one round, so yeah. she only got to zip ahead once, and then you zap yeah, tell the head me what of her. You're doing to stop yeah, me. so, so she's literally gonna be a brick wall, and she's just gonna. <laughs> She's gonna, yeah. So basically, you're step, you you show up in front of her, and you're sitting there like a goalie trying to protect the net, and she's coming right at you, 
Uh, Pretty much. With the monkey football. Now, I don't say that with being mean, folks, so don't take that anywhere. But she's got a monkey as a football. Hey. She's, there you go. She's got it on camera. See? Right there. He's a monkey. He's, he looks like a bear, but he's actually a monkey. <laughs> God, I hope, I hope Pinnacle's not watching this. I'll never get him to sponsor the channel now. I have the monkey boy under the arm like a football. He's tucked there. She's running at the top of her speed. And she's coming around, and, and the suddenly- doctor's waiting. And then here come the Iscariots, as they're like they're like front linesmen, and they begin to do a pulling guard maneuver as they come out and about with their boards hitting their heads. And unknowns to them, they've they've come it right into the center. Of Gosh. this debacle. <laughs> are you wait? Are you saying I'm going to run into them like a bowling? Ball no, the ba- yeah, they're basically they're they're you're using them as blockers. No. <laughs> you said, you said monkey boy. I instantly, I instantly pictured the poor kid from uh, Jumanji. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we have a maneuver here, Doc. But he's in front of me. Yes, he's so. in front of you, and you're coming through him. So you've got a shot at this, <laughs> Doc. What is your what is your maneuver to try to wrangle the monkey from Santia, or she's going to make it to Sutter's? Um, he's. Going to grab the monkey out of her hands? He's just not, he's not gonna do anything fancy. I mean he could, but he's not. Is, is the doctor running at all? No, the doctor te- oh, so the doctor teleported, teleported ahead of her of and then and then gets down basically like in a goalie stance, you know, and he's just like, you know, I unless you've got another way you want to pull this doc. You know, no, but- I, I'm I'm fine with tackling the poor girl carrying the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I thought oh, that oh. he was literally right in front of her, like watching no, her running, and she had no way of stopping. So there's well, going to be some kind of collision. Okay, so there could be. I, I, I was thinking that she, he. I thought you got more space than she did on the teleport. Oh, I can move as much as I want to of the teleport up. To- but the, but the teleport matched her. The, the teleport where- matched her movement, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying uh, for the first yes, round. Okay. Running in the movement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the doc's going. Okay. So let's play this one off. So <laughs> the doc. Uh, what um, have we done? Well, it's going. I need. Actually, a, you know what? I would like to teleport right above her and land down on her, <laughs> grabbing her and take. I'm going to take her down with the monkey. Fumble! Fumble! <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. We're going to fall the, out of the um, air on top of the poor girl. Okay. Would that be considered? That's hilarious. Or I say that again. Or that is. Would say that again? I didn't is hear you. Would that be considered unnecessary roughness or yeah, roughness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unnecessary I'm roughness? We haven't yeah, spanked the monkey yet, so it's no, fine. It's, okay. <laughs> we were saving that one to the end, but no, he went ahead and brought it out for us there. Uh, so the, oh, um, the um, I want. What am I doing? Well, I'm trying to see toppled. what's fair. Well, you're 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 going to get some agility strength checks here, Doctor. Okay. Hold on, I'm just trying to see them. Yeah, we're matching up. <laughs> okay. Um, doc, agreed. doc, 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 doc. Um, give me an a- an athletics roll against your agility roll. My agility? Yeah, your oh. agility. Crap. That's a that plus two's not supposed or minus two's not supposed to be there. I saw the multi action. I say, why you still have multi action up? Because <laughs> it's a quick way to throw up a negative two, and I was being lazy. Okay, so she's going to. Well, is that so? That's your, that's your role, the athletics. That's the. Is that a three, three then? Yeah, so that she's going to. You will have landed. She will just have skirted out from underneath you as you as you drop out of the sky. And you're, you're you 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 fall behind her poof, in the dirt. No, my monkey! And she continues to run. 
He'll eventually get up and start to keep chasing he does, after does him. Another, does he know that another teleport? Is that what he's going to do again? He can or do it up to three times. That's I what I'm saying. three of them total, so yeah. yeah. So, I only had the one for that one but now she, her, so Yeah, so her pace goes back down to to the a regular amount. I'm a, so yeah, running I, is back well, to... Hold on, hold on. So, I, Doc, make me I a pers, make me a pers, uh, a uh, notice roll. Sure. Okay. I just want to see if you noticed it because he was going to teleport far, far away if he didn't notice it. Uh, thinking that she was still running the same speed. So, she has... She has I slowed down. Yes. So. Yep. I have slowed down. Yeah, he, he notices. That's fine. So he, he so he's calculating as he's following you in his head. The numbers are running. So he's going to. What's your next? So you've got another shot at this. What's your next? Well, the. The being the genius he is, he's going to do the exact same thing because obviously he can't fail twice. Okay, all right. So, athletics on the agility. <laughs> oh my gosh, this scene. Yes. Your agility, Sandia. My agility. Uh huh. Oh, oh Lord. no! So you can use a Benny. I can't fix that, can I? Because it's a critical failure. Oh yeah, the suede that they changed. Oh, it. I thought we, you could. I can't. Uh, you can nullify it with a rather blue chip still, though. I'll give oh, you I a, just the, got a blue chip. J. Yeah, you do have a blue chip. I'll do that. I'll use it to. Uh, I'll use it. And there then you, you roll your D6 like normal. It also just removes any critical fail. Oh boy. I got a nine. Well, she, she, does she just have to roll the D6 and add that to the roll, not the full another roll, right? Yeah, just a, roll a D6. And yeah, just roll a, oh, D6. a D6. I'm sorry. Yeah, just roll a D6. Okay. That's fine. And it also can explode, by the way. Oh, we, yeah. we well, matched. The, yeah, yeah, I thought you. Don't you add it to the one? No, you add it to one, so you, you got a four. You beat it. Yeah, you beat him. Yeah, so so she shoots right by again, and the doctor ah, and drops and oh lands on the ground again, and again. she's she's running onward, and the monkey's going go 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 no I don't want to be a monkey anymore help me help me keep me away from him. Guy at the chavito, I'm so, busy. Now, I, so, I would imagine that this time the doctor's probably got a bloody nose from the two falls. <laughs> he, he oh pounding, he's dropping down, but the doctor Poor is the, oh the doctor gosh. is unfazed. He is a a man with a mission here, and so he has one more teleport in him. <laughs> is he going to try to do it again? I can't believe I'm getting past this right now. Uh oh, what is happening? He rolled one up here. Now he did it again. <laughs> Am I going to get toppled by Joseph? Well, you don't know. So <laughs> that's okay. No, Jay is going to give you a blue chip because oh he has a gosh. blue chip. <laughs> I don't want to be. He does not want to be a monkey anymore. Roll a d6. <laughs> ah, oh yeah, and he run, 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 hey, well, run. What's have, that? Have roll alone because. It- the, the D6 can explode. Oh, you can roll it. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, so it's you... gonna pass regardless. Yeah, I know. But we're having no, but we're having no. fun. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. So she makes it past the dock one last time, and y'all and Santia, you are then um, in the camp and have got Sutter and all them hearing you running and seeing the doctor poof, out of thin air. Uh, on the last on the last maneuver and there hey Mowgli I can't yeah and they all basically all turned around um, some had cups in their hands now dropped them uh, they're you know a piece of a wind gust rose by and all the paperwork that was on the table went up into the air and moved everything around and they're all watching this as you come running in with this monkey in your hand, screaming English ah. that they all understand, and Sutter looks at Abby and goes, I blame you for all of this. 
If you weren't my child, I'd punch you in the mouth. <laughs> and Abby just kind of, oh my God. I'll take care of this, Father. Keep on. And she grabs some of the paperwork and she puts a couple of rocks down and keeps the paper from blowing away. And she walks out toward you, Santi, as you're out of breath. And this Bye. monkey is sitting here. Let me go. I don't want to go. What the hell? Help me. Get me away from that dude. And she goes, what did he do this time? Hi, Dios. <laughs> Doc? Well, is he still behind me? He's. Well, I, I should say, yeah, I'm yeah. eventually gonna catch up. So just yeah, let me know when I get up, there. He, yeah, so <laughs> he's he's moving, but you have made it up there. You have a few a few seconds. Says Abby's looking at the monkey, and why is the monkey speaking English? I didn't know Hello, monkeys Lord. could talk. Hello, Here, here's a question: How long monkey. has it been? We're getting close. We're getting That's close. Why. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting close. We getting we're getting close. close. So <laughs> trust me. Oh, trust me. Uh huh. I, the doctor made a monkey out of a boy, and the boy works for us. Ay, Dios mío. Is that Here the young boy? Here oh, my God. Get over here, Doc. <laughs> yes, ah, you have found my monkey. Thank you. Is this the young boy that we hired earlier today? No. no, it is a it is a monkey. Doc. What does it look like? Why would it be a boy? The boys cannot become monkey. And as he's sitting at a doc, and the doctor reaches for the monkey, all of a sudden, whoop 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 whoop, Jay becomes a real boy. Explodes right in the doc, and it basically is. It, doctor's grabbing him in a hug. You know, he's trying to grab and. Mm -hmm. You now oh. have a full. Oh. <laughs> oh, very fun. Let uh, me one out moment, here. I will make another potion for you. It's no! Really and he. Went with him. Abby goes, Doc, enough. What? Enough. Do not do hmm? anything to the boy. But he asked boy. to see. <laughs> he asked to see. He volunteered. Doc, put. <laughs> The potions away. Orale, doctor, vamonos. She's going to start tugging at the collar of his... You are not helping us hire anybody if they see you changing the hard help. <laughs> well, yank, we yank. could make him bigger. It would be good. After no, we won't one? make anybody bigger. You've done enough already, Doc. <laughs> How about you go help Sam with the goods in the chuck wagon and help him get things ready to go. And no spiking the beans again. <laughs> Are you reading my mind? <laughs> God help me, I probably am. I'm hearing enough voices as it is. This oh, blessed boy. trip. Now I go. I tell you what, little girl. Um, you give me monkey, I give you all the cows you promised me. Doc, there is no monkey, so help me God, I'm going to hit you. Can I, can I no, proceed no. to yank the doctor by the collar so that we could get out yes, of here? Yes, you can take the doc. Please, no, Santia, take him away. Little boy, you can come by and see me anytime you want. Yeah, yeah. No Holy crikey. That doctor's messed up. And then as y'all are doing that, right around, coming around the last corner is the father and his parishioners, bloodied heads, boards splintered, uh, and, you know, um, you have, you made a full round around Denver, Doc, I mean, uh, father. Father, you saw me running. You did nothing. Father. Que paso, que paso, padre. I'm over here handling this, <laughs> and you left me with this. It was just the doctor. <laughs> that says it all. The doc's crazy. <laughs> I do not know what you want from me. You, you probably, he's probably hit his head on too many boards like the rest of your people. You should stop that. They're going to get drain damage. Thaddeus, where is Thaddeus? I don't know if it's Thaddeus. Yeah, where is Thaddeus? Thaddeus, what the hell are you doing? 
Okay, because I know totally better. out of character. I uh, oh, I'm gonna God. assume the doctor is the only one that Jay's not gonna be bothering now. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I did send him to you, so he may not be bothering me either. <laughs> but uh, you leave the rest still, of us still, as still, denominators. You know, got his got it, lean back on on good old Cobra, just leaning there watching this watching the fray. On, on, on Buttercup? What'd you say? On who? On Buttercup. On uh, Cobra. Buttercup. Mm -hmm. No, actually, Cobra. what's your donkey's name, Doc? I forgot. Rebecca. That's Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. Daddy stays away from Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca bites. Yes. Oh, boy. She's a biter. And, and, she's, and she's got horns attached to her head. Um, <laughs> Are those real? Or is that just a headpiece? <laughs> well, we found they it. Real. <laughs> they gave it to me. I had a use for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was what? like, I don't remember they, horns. The horns came from... Uh, dead animal skull, dead antelope skull, or something. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So and, yeah, uh, Rebecca yeah. the donkey has horns. Thaddeus is just leaning on it, leaning on the horse, watching it all go down. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm probably gonna go find him while keeping the doctor close at hand by his collar. Okay, so F Father Alexander. So as we have uh, monopolized the Jay Goodman hour. Um, <laughs> Was there anything that you, other than, you know, keeping your parishioners, uh, you know, focused on their prayers uh, and their, you know, word, uh, you know, um, thoughts to the, to the Lord above, was there anything you were trying to else to accomplish or wanting to do in town? Uh, now that there's some spending money, I do need to go shopping for them. Uh, a couple okay. drug okay. sacks for them, some... Maybe some actual holsters and some weapons. Okay. Did everybody else, while this is going on, pick up anything that they needed, supply-wise, other than this monkey space initiative? I have, I have not had a chance to do anything because of the bad um, chase. <laughs> I will definitely go replenish my quote-unquote tra trail rations and any ammo. Yeah, same. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, well, you will, Jay will get his wits about him, and he's going to stay at the table uh, with Abby <clears throat> as she says, I will protect you. The doctor will leave you alone. I would <laughs> probably suggest just give him a little space. Yep. Space? I'm going to give him the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> And his voice is still, he still hasn't totally changed yet. He was still talking in monkey voice. Oh my god. When, uh, whenever we get done shopping, go back to camp, though, let me know. Oh my. <laughs> uh, I'm going, how much are rations now that we're getting 50 cents? Yeah, they should. So I'll get another 10. Okay. Everybody else, yeah, well, you can do your shopping if you need to do that quickly. As we have hired out, so outside of that, they do spend a little bit more time, and um, they will um, get yeah, rest of their crew kind of laid out, and um, you get the plan, you know, get enough hired hands to fill in to take care of things by and like i said like got up to about with including y'all about 20 other riders total of 20 new riders um actually 20 total riders um he lost about half a dozen so um that'll be um <clears throat> that'll be good um, mm -hmm. is everything in the items list available to purchase yes okay. yep very much so Yeah, I was also looking at a bulletproof duster, but they're expensive too. <laughs> well, you know, we can make you a temporary one. It just uh, might blow up on you. <laughs> Turn on the normal ones too if you double snake eyes. Uh... 
technically, I'm actually uh, giving you the equivalent of uh, armor all the Oh my god, they have a guitar? Yeah, I'm sure you can learn to play guitar if you don't already know. She probably already knows. She's from Mexico. <laughs> so everything you said is on here, right? Well, isn't it? Why would... Why, y y <laughs> Doc? <laughs> what Bob. are you looking at? Well, there's blasting caps and dynamite. Yeah, I was looking at that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you, yeah, you, so I'm assuming. Where is ammo in the gear? Yeah. It's in its own section. Exactly. Is that ammunition? ammunition? Yeah. Ammunition. Well, you're going to. So, the quite. Yeah, so I mean, to bring stuff back. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. He were, yeah, no, that's, yeah, every time he asks a question like that, Wolves Dad, I yeah, know. Um, um, the, now, Sutter's going to put his foot down on some of the stuff. If you think you're going to come back with, you know, um, you're going to, you're going to, you know, worry, he's, go, you're going to worry them and the rest of the group, you know, that you're going to explode on your own. So, I don't really have a chance to do that every time I roll a critical Yeah, but failure. they don't know that, but you've seen you walking around <laughs> buying blasting caps and di dynamite and all that. I was so. just going to buy one case and strap it to Rebecca and some blasting caps and fuses. And oh, no. you, would uh, well, you would not hurt your ass. Well, I wasn't going to <laughs> use it on her. She's just, it, it's very heavy. I, I, I would like her to carry it, so we're just going to strap it to her. Why me? Um, <laughs> how much is it? Sixty-five dollars. How much money you got? You gave me two hundred and fifty in regular dollars. I haven't converted it yet, you buffoon. Regular dollars need to convert it. I'm still spending the two hundred and fifty regular dollars you gave us. Oh, that's yeah, right. I'm sorry. Dollars. The regular dollars. So I'm sorry, dude. I keep forgetting about the reward. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's going through all. He's he's blasting through all. Yeah. All his money. Okay. I had twenty five cents left after we I got know. here. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> and he's never most he's, of that on junk. But yeah. He's never been the same man since he was you know accosted in the uh, bordello. Something something changed about the good dog. On the plus size, his vigor did go up. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Yeah, you can buy. You are in Denver. You they have it all here. So I, you know, I, I made the ruling. It stands and that right. you know if it's in the book right now, the common items and all that it is just available to you. I spent one hundred and twenty-five dollars buying all five of my people each a Colt forty-five, fifty rounds of ammo, a bed roll, and a gun. Okay. Um, Wait, I can't find the ammo. Okay. Oh, so and trail rations. Make make. Did you make a note in the notes? Notes? Would you? And I will outfit. I will put that extra stuff in their inventory for the for on the combat tracker. I need. To, I'll make a MP. Well, assuming I can make an NPC. Let me see. Yeah, I'll I'll move this stuff over. You'll put send me a note or put that in there, and I'll add that all in. And then I'll put them as an NPC item, so in case I delete them again, I won't lose all that work. And then we can pull them over all the time. Uh, could someone point me in the direction of the ammunition? It like should be it's in its, its own tab. It's, yeah, it's on, if you open up the player's guide and then scroll down, I think it was ammunition was right after melee weapons, range weapon, melee weapons, and then ammunition. Yep, almost uh, halfway down in the DLR. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's get some of this stuff. And let me, I need to actually make a post for, oh God, now what is, uh, oh, 
Oh, hey, uh, Duff, there it is. Gold, uh, one ounce of gold is worth five dollars. Where'd you see that? Oh. Where? It's under general equipment. Nice. It's right below Ghost Rock. Go figure. <laughs> 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 You said under, under common items. Common items? Common items? What'd you say that one? Common items, then the sub tab general equipment. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can you can basically color up your um Well, yeah, the yeah, the gold. Okay, so, so that's just how many out now we know how many ounces of gold we have. Okay, yeah. But uh, I actually just so gave y'all... 20 a, ounces. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So now you can break it apart for however you need it. That'll work. And uh, we're uh, we're staying in town for a day, right? Uh, you're finishing up. You're getting close to being done. Oh, because I'm going to go buy a bath. You can buy... Yeah, you need one. Yes, I do. Okay. I bought my bath one good. <laughs> you just walk into the store and slap down your wall like, I need a whole bath. <laughs> yeah, nope, I went uh -huh. to a bathhouse. Oh, a bathhouse. Nice. Because I'm sure they had those uh, back in the 1800s. I think that the inns or something usually had one like higher up in I don't or the I, I mean in in the common items it says services bath for a buck. Oh, okay. Nice. Yep. I, I went and that bought a bath. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Probably do the same. Freshen up after running <laughs> like mm -hmm. a bad man. <laughs> And, and I would imagine. So oh, might need to shave. Have we done the conversion yet on this Confederate Union money? No, yet? I've got to look that up. I, I don't know what that's going to be. Um, Do you have it? Uh oh, it, ask way. Yes. <laughs> if I, how much could I convert a bunch of that in my gold into about two hundred? Ah, the doctor doesn't care about the ratio. So you broke up when you said that. Say that again. Oh, uh, the doctor won't care that much about the ratio as long as he can come up with 200 bucks. Oh, my God. It's like... Hey, um, hey Duff. Yes. Um, in the... All right, there's a, there's a tab called Dinero. Okay. Mm. Let's see. And like in the very first two paragraphs, it, it's it's kind of got a, a, a thing. Does it? For okay. You, Let me see. Yeah, it, Other currency. Um, it's actually above that. Uh, holy shit. Look at that mo mosquito. Damn, really? I got mosquitoes already. God almighty. Um. Mason Dixon line. Most merchants out west don't like paper money since folks from both sides are liable to shop. Okay. That's exactly what it was. If a shop does take paper at charge. Okay. So, all right. Um, the base, do we need to go back and increase everything by 20% we bought with the regular dollars? No, this is if, if you're taking the Confederate or the Union money, there's an exchange rate for that. Exchange tax, basically what he's saying. Um, and so that it's something I got to come up with. I'll make a roll on it to say, basically, it's a percentage taken off of the of the amount, like you know, eight cents on the eight cents on the dollar, you know, eighty cents on the dollar, or something or like that. You know, you could do it as so, an increase of the item cost. It yeah, it could be a tax on top of it. That's right. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Um, where's oh, I don't have my damn. Really, I don't have my inflation without representation. Yeah, something like that. So I'm going to roll percentile die. Well, I was. Okay, so we got a, it's a 20% tax on top of everything. If you use the union or confederate dollars. Huh. 
I just figured that'd make it simple for you. No, that's, that's exactly what it is, man. Good catch. That's that's what that's what they're talking about. That's why they're laying it there, and and in this instance, I just we're, I'll roll it per town until you spend it all. What you know, what that possible tax would be in Denver. Okay. In Denver, it's twenty percent. Of my three hundred and seventy-five credit money, I'd like to spend three hundred and sixty of it to buy a. Uh, oh God, here it is. Uh, a Constalga wagon and two more mules. <laughs> oh boy. You're I gonna... have my mobile laboratory now. Constalga oh. wagon. <laughs> he can do it. I. This is part of the fun and just me figuring out how to unwind it all. When it, why are my dice not lining back up? Come here. That's a super. Hey. It's a bit, is it? Cool wagon. Huh. Yes, I I had to Google it to make sure it was the one I thought it was. Which one? Show me. Hold on. Which one is it? A cons- uh, it's basically the covered wagon style. That's fine. I just because there's a buckboard in there too, but I I need something with privacy. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean that's it's going to be. You're, it's going to be similar. There's going to be a couple of wagons that are, you know, the trail wagon and things like that, the, the chuck wagon. Um, Pretty much so, so, what yeah. they, they look like. It's similar to that. Yep. Mm-hmm. You're just buying something a little bit mm, ostentatious. That's all. It's the dock. So. Okay. Well, you know, he needs places where mm-hmm. he can experiment and tie people up and people won't be heard screaming. You know, normal. <laughs> oh, I mean, boy. he's a very private man and would like some private alone time when at night mm-hmm. okay you have so you've spent a lot more money again and you've bought yourself a wagon with two more mules is that what you said yes because i'm figuring rebecca can't carry it by herself and he no, likes sh- rebecca for his mouth. N- no she shouldn't be able to so and you've got her tied to the side or to the back apparently probably now here's a question what's a buckboard uh it's a basically just like a flat wagon that's all. I mean, it's literally just wheels and a flat board. So you haul oh. like a, a hay bale wagon kind of thing. Okay, because I, I was thinking it was just like you know those old horse races where they have the, the the like the seat with wheels attached to the horse. No, oh, a chariot. No. Yeah, no, 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 but, no, not even that. It's just no, like the, the, no, you had you sit in a chair that's a part of the contraption that's attached to the horse, and you whip them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that cart's called, but I know what you're talking about, Gary. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember what they're looking at. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I was asking. Because if it was something yeah. like that, I'd, I'd probably grab one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All the Google images show the the open wagon with the seat on it. You could you could use horses to move it. Yeah, okay. but I'm not going to make poor Cobra pull a, a wagon like that. <laughs> horses are not meant for that. All right. Well, so uh, that is, you're buying all that. Anybody you know? If we do, uh, Father Anderson disappeared. Uh, so everybody's got. He he took care of his parishioners, his Iscariots. Um, Doc's got his uh, wagon. Privacy. Would you like a full list of what he bought? Not if, as long as it's your inventory. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, I, I trust you, you man. To... No, no, I trust you, man. No. Well, I just didn't know if you want to prepare for some of it. <laughs> Just saying. Son of a bitch. What has he done? Oh, you might want to miss stuff. I'm looking. I'm looking at it. Yes, he's a. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I. I. I'm, what, what did I buy myself? You're going to run the risk that's going to blow up. And it okay. hits a, and when it hits a rock, I run the risk of blowing up already. When I, I know, I know. I'm just saying. There's got to. So I'm just saying. We're, <laughs> there's come time Hi. to time. There could be a smell coming from the dock's wagon, and all of a sudden, it could be a, a small mini mushroom cloud. It's yes, like wily oh, coyote and the rabbit. Nice yes. Show. Okay. Yes. Acne oh, is ac- is gosh. acne is written over the side of the wagon. Okay. No. Oh. All right. We've got everything. Sutter is saying, for the love of God, can we please go now? Uh, if we stay around here much longer, my bad luck will continue. He wants to get to Wyoming. And away you go. Jay riding close to Santia. 
or Abby. But he, he but he will. <laughs> the from doctor time to would like to uh, catch eyes with them occasionally. Be like, "Hello, little boy. <laughs> Feel free to come by. We will discuss." That guy's loco, Santia, muy loco. And at dinner, when he works the chuck wagon, he will always be sure to give him an extra helping. <laughs> <laughs> All for hitting his helmet. God. I just wanted to know about yeah. what he does. Yeah, going boy. Take an extra scoop. Be sure to eat it all. Yep. Doc, Abby says, Doc, quit it. I did not put You're, anything in it. You saw me. You'll do latrine duty. Keep it up. Oh, you mean <laughs> I will be in charge of making a very large hole? Hmm. <laughs> touche, dog. Touche. Um, all right, but um, so the posse and the herd move along, and it's. Takes a if you, yeah, you spend another couple the first couple of days kind of getting back into the swing of things, uh, you know, wearing out the saddle sores, you know, having taken you know a good bit of time off, um, uh, and um, uh, just kind of you know getting the dust belted out and things like that. Everybody just kind of getting their place and getting to know the hands, the new hands, and who they are and who's who's capable. There are a couple that are definitely very capable. There are mostly that are just regular hands who need guidance and always watching and um, you know a little refresher course every now and then or stiff you know slap upside the head. Uh, and then there are a couple you know definitely are going to you know um, unfortunately they may not like make it long, but. Um, Sutter is unfortunately stuck with them and um, y'all move along uh, and spend a few days every one of y'all if y'all are wanting can make uh, notice rolls for me please what's the 30 what the hell's that sure. is that something I'll notice okay Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, uh, go figure. The doc's definitely he's in, he's deep in his wagon. Uh, <laughs> contraption smoke coming out, pieces of metal come flying in and are probably out the back. Nope, and he you know chunk stuff out. Maybe you know you know maybe a dead animal, rat or hare or prairie dog gets thrown out. You know after you know or ejected out somehow. Maybe they, you've made, you may have maybe you made a hole in the top of your canvas for something going wrong and ejecting something straight up out of the uh, top of your the wagon covering. Uh, so and, basically, they're hearing like the foomp of those t-shirt yeah. cannons and like yeah, small exactly. animals uh, are yeah. coming by. Yeah, yeah, the animals flying out. You know, uh, most of them not making it, but there are a few that will hit the ground and shake it off, and definitely or they give a chirp toward the wagon. You know. Um, cussing you out and then run off. Um, Father Anderson, apparently, uh, a few too many headboard whacks to the head for you. Um, it's not looking good. Uh oh. Yo, Alex, what's in the house? 20 sides. Yes, we are. Uh, yeah, we're full cam on this game. I got them suckered into that. So for our Deadlands. Um, but welcome. Good to see you, man. Uh, the. Um, Two of y'all, though, will notice um, a couple of days out that along the cliff line, ever so often on some of the passes that you go through, you will catch the ever so tall tale sign of some dust moving around, and then you will catch what you're fairly certain are a couple of riders. Mm-hmm that uh you can see uh oh dude thanks uh, for the cheer <laughs> so we the the hundred dollars gets an adventure card there alex trust me we had at the beginning of the game uh, here uh several cards given out and used uh in some uh in in prompt two moments here but you can oh, certainly boy. uh buy a card for someone in the group here, you just have to let me know who the card goes to, and I will dish them out a card that they can use um, before the end of our session here. 
or you can just say we can just say thanks man um but oh yes yeah, she got <laughs> everyone likes a woman santia gets another <laughs> card <laughs> nicely done she is uh, oh my gosh i'm not gonna uh, have a chance to use any of these cards i know you got four cards now yeah. yes she does uh No, well, yeah, well, yeah, we'll hold on to these for right now because they're being bought for y'all and Thank being played around with. Yeah, so, um, at least go, yeah. No, you're fine. It, 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 everybody got cards, and so they all get two per game, and then the extra ones are bought. And Falcon Wolf came in and bought a card for everybody, and then she's gotten an extra one because of she played some immediately. We've been having fun with them. Um, so, but uh, yeah, so y'all, ha- yeah, you catch the sign that. Um, um just briefly you'll catch on the top of the hillsides you'll catch the smoke you'll catch a couple of riders that are kind of just kind of keeping a slow pace um with the party and then they just kind of veer off and you don't see them and y'all will catch this a couple of times over the first week um and sometimes there'll be you'll see some on the north side of the right side of y'all actually the east side and as y'all are heading up north and then sometimes you'll catch a couple uh that will be on the west side um but they just check they will look out you see them kind of stop they watch they point you know and then they just kind of peel off and disappear um uh, would uh would we be able to tell if they were not from where, not the distance who they were. You could tell they're horseback riding, but as far as what, who, and what they were, uh, you pretty certain you saw hats on their heads. Okay. Okay. Not they not know not feathers. No, okay, so you knew where I was going. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, you're you, at least what you think you saw hats a lot most of the time. And only a couple of, maybe at most there were two riders a couple of times. There might have been three, you know, but most of the time it was just two. During during the course of the, the, the ride, I will catch up to Sutter real quick and let him know that uh, we're being shadowed. Mm-hmm. Really? And... Uh, yeah. We'll head back to my position after he acknowledges and... I yep. point out to where they were. Yeah, you're pointing that out, and then you'll another thing that the two of y'all will notice um, um, that third day out um, after you, you know, second day, so roughly in there, you saw your first, you know, shadow riders, basically what we'll call them, and then um, you will have noticed, um, you know, moving along, um, the herd will be walking along, and you'll see them kind of part around. You know, like there's something in the way, and then they kind of move around it and move, you know, and then come back into position as they're moving along. And y'all will go up and look, and you'll have seen there is a, you know, you've lost a head. Basically, one of the longhorns is dead, um, you know, collapsed on the ground. Uh, and y'all go a couple, you know, another day or so, two days, and then you actually see two or three more heads have dropped to the ground is there anything indicating why but like physically you can stop and look yeah yeah i will do that along with for sure so y'all what do you do do you find a couple on the ground uh i want to check them out uh and see what I can find if there's any uh, physical afflictions on them that might have caused them to drop or anything else. Okay, make me an investigation check. Uh, <laughs> what would that be? And their investigation isn't that a. Uh, 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 I think that's lumped into column, common knowledge, isn't it? Is it? Maybe it is. Uh, Common knowledge, you know, people, I places, say, and things. Notice. There's only common knowledge and then scientific knowledge is now. 
So what does right. common knowledge says? We're uh, people and things of the world, technology, conduct, custom. Now that's not. Uh, then it would be noticed. I guess so notice then. Notice? Used to sense sight, sound. Yeah, that's fine. I guess I hate. I just cause it's like it's like perception. It's just so overused all the time, you know. But yeah, it's fine. Notice roll. You can check that. You can roll that. I could roll survival. Oh, actually, I'll use a brand new card I just got. <laughs> uh oh. Here you go. Uh, She's got a wild. card. Okay. Bye. Your hero finds all the information available. Here we go. When doing research or realizes critical information when confronting some obstacle such as monster weakness, answer the riddles. Okay, you use your card and you immediately um, walk up and you're noticing um, uh, the belly, you know, that the definitely the cattle is bloated past mm. normal for just having dropped. And you'll also notice that there is some blood. Um, coming out of its mouth and you can kind of see um, the lip area is kind of pulled back away you know over the gum lines and there's you know some you can see some holes can, can see some blood kind of you know little pinpricks and then you'll notice all of a sudden uh, as you're checking that out looking at the front of the uh, cow's mouth or the steer's mouth you'll look back over toward its stomach area and you will then begin to see movement inside and it looks like okay, see it let's get the hell out of here <laughs> it uh, looks like something and all of a sudden you see the skin begin to split open in multiple spots is it infected <laughs> and all of a sudden all of a sudden just <laughs> ripping up out of uh, multiple areas of this cow um, are these huge engorged gorged ticks and they've chewed their way out of the bellies I need from both of y'all guts checks this gruesome gruesome sight of entrails and ticks pulling it and chewing on it and both of y'all almost revisited your lunch <laughs> <laughs> all right and the nausea just rolls over both of you and you then look over at a couple other corpses and the same thing begins to happen out of these head these ticks begin to erupt up and they're about the size. Don't get the doc all excited, but of a monkey football. They're you know a little bitty, you know a little bitty. <laughs> hey, you know you could basically you know they're just okay. covered with goo. They're bloated. They barely can move out of the corpse. You know their body and they're just distended in their back, and it's just kind of dragging along. And they just you know Whoa. they're. So they're, they're just really. Can, yeah. Can I just yeah. Shoot you, them. <laughs> you, you, yeah. You. Uh, yeah, as you're noticing not, that, not as that happens, make me another notice roll when you ask me that question. Sure. Who? Me or? She asked it. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty certain that you you noticing when that happened that the cows, the longhorns begin to become skittish. And they start picking up the pace a little. They start bobbing their heads. You see them, you know, your horse is becoming agitated. Uh, and you... By the ticks? You, but, yeah, but the death and the ticks are now crawling out everywhere. And they're dragging pieces of the cow with them. Uh, and there's now th three, you know, you've got three bodies that are kind of laying around there, you know, within pr proximity to each other. And the ticks are, and the, the, basically, if you think you shoot, you're going to send a stampede off. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, well, I've got you a think your best thing <laughs> is, You think your best bit is that you can just go down there and you can stomp on them. You're just going to make oh, them. Oh, on horseback? The horse, the horse doesn't want anything to do with them. No, no. 
You, you're uh, SOL well, on the horse. The horse is like going, F you, lady. Uh, uh, I, you can walk up and stomp on her yourself. If they're, if they're stompable, they're stompable. They are. No, they're stompable. Yeah, I'll, I'll hop off and stomp too. Yeah, there you basically yeah. can start stomping, but you, yeah, okay. yeah, you're basically doing that. And they're, <laughs> they, they are so bloated they don't even try to put up a. Yeah. They okay. don't even put up a fight. I just wasn't sure what the size okay. was. I was like, now, yeah, I I, there's there's no need. There's not a combat deal on it. There's just some. It's okay. just what you're seeing is something like this. And uh, would know. I have figured out what what might have been the cause of it since I used the card? Uh, so or are they just yeah. So what you begin to common. see is that. You notice uh, on um, once you ki you kill them, you have got a concern here now. Um, the problem is is that you look at the brands on the steer that went down, and you're noticing that they are so far the ones that have died are all from the ones that Sutter bought, <laughs> and apparently they're oh, got paras boy. they've got parasites, and it's an issue. And okay. the question is now with his thousand head that he bought of this guy, um, what the hell? Well, we should probably let him know of our discovery. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely yeah, something <laughs> let we should us, do. Let's let him know of our discovery and um, tell him that there's ticks inside of the cows that he most recently purchased. <sighs> that they're parasitic. I... I'll ask for Lord above, and he looks, Father, what the hell? I thought you'd bring me luck, and uh, the Lord is just not shining down upon me. We're still in our good health. We have our lives. Look at my cattle. Damn it. Can I catch a break, Lord? Lord, Lord, Lord. So only, the, he says, damn it. He goes, the only possible way to really make sure is that we would have to investigate and look over every single damn head of cattle looking at their mouths that's where the ticks are getting in it looks like and you can tell that so somehow the parasites have gotten in through the mouth and there's just no way that's going to take too damn long to um investigate too many days he says we're just going to have to keep an eye on them and see how many go down it can't be all of them please 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 god make it not so um but well let's just there's no way to call out all the herd in time without setting you know um setting up rope lines and and you know with two you know close to two thousand head now this is going to be too much to take on and he kind of calms everybody down and he says, let's get, get, get the herd back moving and get them, you know, calm down as best we can. And let's see what our numbers are after a few days. And so everybody kind of, you know, you kill the ticks there, you burn the, you burn the bodies as they're not even good for eating. Um, you don't want any of the illnesses or anything like that, that would have been, you know, replicated with the tick blood eating drinking all the blood and putting the disease in them um oh thanks pink floppy good to see you yep we uh we're here uh thanks for joining us um still got about 30 minutes to play here um so yeah so y'all ride on and then unfortunately for y'all that it's only um about three to five head more die at least keeping an eye on them and you're able to try to bunch up some of the purchased cattle together in small groups but looks like it was not that bad but y'all also notice that you know you've seen them while this is going on in the next few days and watching all this they're still um these watchmen that you're catching that will check in from time to time up and over the fit they're not there long and you know you know it's you know with your hands are full unfortunately with the, the herd now and the ticks and returning about them that you got any time to check and figure out what the hell is going on 
Did, did anybody ever tell the doctor we were seeing these people? Uh, I don't know. Is he in his own wagon I, or is he I riding told with us? I, I highly doubt the doctor's out there wrangling cattle. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'm sure he's probably doing stuff inside his own wagon. <laughs> um. Well, we could let the others know because she noticed it too, right? Earlier, uh, you, yeah, we both you, the UN, the yes, Th riders. Thaddeus and Santi had noticed that the riders. We could let the others know what we found, and then we can split these duties up. Yep, and so why? See, the only person I told about the Shadow Riders is, is Sutter. So, yeah, and Sutter. Yeah. yeah, he says keeping. Yeah, all he's done is keeping his hands full now with the extra head and the new. The new Wranglers and all that is he's relying on you two just to keep, um, you know, they've, if they've not come in any further, they're not making any moves for us, then there's nothing much we can do about it while we're trying to keep our um, the herd moving, continue moving forward and north. And you'll notice that, you know, we do that. And, and even good old Jay Santia will, you know, he's come out of his shell some due to his... <laughs> You know, monkey fear, uh, and his voice has gone back to normal, and he has slow. He has slowed down his talk a little, and he, <laughs> you know, and he goes, you know, that, you know, he, you know, Hola, after, he watches y'all, you know, take care of the ticks, and he goes, ah, wow, did y'all see anything like that when y'all were riding before? What, what, why isn't has that happened before on your rides? No, Chavito, that that is new. Oh, wow. We see any other critters? I heard there's lots of other ones out here. Oh, look at me. Look. Yeah, don't don't look now, but you got one crawling up your neck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> y'all sure don't talk a lot. Why don't y'all tell people about your stories? Y'all probably got some really cool stories. The doctor's going to stick his head out a second. Did someone say stories? <laughs> He kind of backs. He backs his horse around over behind Santia, between the you know the docks wagon and Santia. He's looking around. Uh, yeah. What kind of stories? That, yeah. Well, he's asking. He said so. What stories does the doc have? What troubles? He's got to have gotten in other troubles before. What has he There's done no before? Many if you stories. want to hear the doctor's stories, you got to talk to him. No, no, he come on, Thaddeus. Let me talk about his stories. I don't know which one is good, which one is which bad. Which one do they you like? All a jumble. Which one do you like? Todos, todos, jumbles. Oh, come on, tell me one. I give you, I give you a, a, a nickel, a buffalo nickel. I'll, uh, a buffalo nickel. I'll, I'll ride over to the doctor's cat uh, wagon. Hey, Doc, you want us to hear one of your stories? And then I'll ride away. <laughs> Doc, stick his head out. Who wants to hear a story? Come into my wagon. We will have a nice talk. I'm not stupid, Thaddeus. I'm not going in his <laughs> wagon again. Oh, no. And where's my gun? You gave me this junker gun. I want a real gun. You just took my gun. I want my gun back. Doctor's got it. He's cleaning it. No, you yeah. took it. Give me my peacemaker back. Yeah, but I gave... No, you yeah, didn't. This doesn't shoot as good. Where's my peacemaker? Oh, no, he, he did actually say he was going to give it to me. That's right. Uh, I did give it to the doctor. Uh, he gave it to the equipment. doctor. He sure did. Before he turned him into a monkey, he gave him his gun. He'll ride yep, up to I you. Did. He'll ride up to you, father. You're awful quiet, father. Why are you quiet? How can you hang out with all of them? They must drive you crazy. That's why you're quiet, isn't it? Oh, no. You don't get I a word in, do you? In the Lord. What does the Lord say to you about all these people? You had to see some stuff on the trail with him. What kind of stuff have you seen, Doc? I mean, Father. Don't say, oh my God, don't get the Doc's attention. He's cray cray. Uh, we haven't seen, honestly, a whole lot on the trail. Just, you know, your normal stuff. Some spiders, scorpions, a couple bandits. The real oh. thing is the town we came from. There were some evil cultists and they summoned a demon monkey. Demon, don't say monkey. Don't say monkey, please. It what was a demon monkey. The doc uh, will hear you. 
monkey. I'll ride over to the doctor again. Oh, God. <laughs> um, ask him for one of his mind link pills. Put oh. it in a canteen of water. And then take it back over to uh, Jay and offer him a drink. Does the doctor have one of those pills? Oh, well, the doctor can technically make one. He'll give me give me six seconds in a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if that works. Y yes, the doctor can make a mind link pill. <laughs> Putting it in water. Why did they pick on the Jay? Jay, there's Jay's done so, nothing wrong to y'all. I'll, I'll put the mind link pill in my it's canteen. Fast talking kid. Right over to Jay and hey man, you look a little thirsty. Here, you want you want some of my water? Oh no, I've got my own canteen. <laughs> Make is, a persuasion roll. Make a persuasion roll. Sure thing. I'm good. Uh, I'm good, Thaddeus. I appreciate I'll it. I'll bend you that. I'll bend you that. <laughs> I'll bend you that. <laughs> Give me where's no, Jay? Beat a four. I know, I'm gonna pull up Jay. <laughs> I was hoping to get the damn thing to explode. Yeah, I know you were. Um I'm good, man. I'm okay. But when you want to show me how to shoot. You sh you sh I'll, I'll show you how to shoot if you if you if you take a drink of this canteen, man. I'll even drink No, even drink man, you no, it's okay. I'm thirsty. I just had a drink. I appreciate it though, man. You look at those cattle over there, kind of getting away. You might want to get back over there so, before the Sutter gets mad at you. Look, look the same. It's a canteen. Did it look so, the so same? They, both look, they all look the same. Yeah, yeah I would assume so. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. So, where's his canteen located? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> It's attached, to, it's attached it to a saddle. It's like y'all's are. It's just attached to your saddle. So. Okay. I'll uh, watch to see if he's paying any attention, and I will uh, switch <laughs> his canteen for mine. Well, you're riding stealthy. horses, Dordes. You're not going to be able to do that while you're riding, don't you think? You're really going to reach right over while he's riding next to him, and yeah. <laughs> is he talking to anyone else or or what he will be well no, he, once you get know that he pulled back he pulled back next to you because the doctor stuck his head out and gave something oh to thaddeus gosh. and he goes those two they don't like me why don't they like me i didn't do anything to them ¿Quién? El doctor y thaddeus? they like you they, they like you a lot actually. i just want to learn from the best but no Thaddeus can be grumpy sometimes. It's okay though. He's sometimes fine. He's, a, he's fine. So, so, so yeah. Am I am I am I allowed to uh, try and do that later on? You've already tried to give him a drink of water, and he's 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 already streetwise to you for the moment. So <laughs> he's he doesn't trust you at the time being. So right, but I can I can still attempt to swap his canteen with mine as we're riding, can't I? You can make me a stealth roll. I wish we had disadvantage right now. You're trying to pull this off, and he's already on to you that you're trying to get him to drink something. You goofball! Uh, hold on, let me look something. Here. I'll, I'll take a swig. I'll take a swig of my canteen right in front of him. He's not interested. That's fine. I'm still gonna now you, now try you're and swap gonna out our all, canteens. You're gonna hear all of the doctors. Like, oh, I know what he's doing. I, and he's, I'm not saying he can't do it. I'm just trying to say your your abilities right now would definitely be at a negative four because he's watching you. He didn't want to drink your canteen, so he is, you know, and he was chatting with you, and so he you're right in front of him. So okay, yes, you want to try negative it? Four? You can, but he's at a negative four. Yeah. He says, Switch no! It. Switch is mine on accident. What the hell are you doing? He backs <laughs> his horse up. Uh, People are mean. I'm going to tell Sutter. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to learn from the best, but no. I'm going to tell my pa on you. That's right. 
just want to learn from the I learn to be to, to survive out here in the hard lands and they just pick on me it's not funny I'm gonna, oh, yeah, go. I'm gonna go Do home not, don't 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 I'm going home. With that. You're no fun. Thaddeus is a grumpy man sometimes. It's okay. There are plenty of other people here that you can learn how to shoot with. No, he, uh, yeah, so they tried that, and, you know, and the doctors gives him the evil eye a few more, you know, over the next couple of days still. <laughs> the doctors, you know, with the bean routine, and Thaddeus keeps trying to change out his canteen and all that. And he, um, you know, if you want, I can t I can help you if you want. He uh, basically um, he uh, this is not as fun as I thought it was going to be. You know what? And, and I'm just going to go home. That's all I want to find another group and somebody else could teach me. You don't want to teach anything to this young kids because y'all are scared of us because we're going to grow up and be better than y'all are and gonna be cooler. I'll get a badge someday too, you know. You can buy those in a jack cracker jack box. And oh, yeah. Jay. <laughs> you cannot go running off on your own in the middle of what is it, the day, the night? <laughs> oh the daytime. Yeah, yeah. It, they, but y'all bet you'd have been in on the, the road for of over the a week. Day. Yeah. But he, he actually he actually's going to turn around and he's actually trying to head back to he's trying to leave. He actually's trying to. So, he goes, don't worry about it. I've, I've been this far before. I know my way home. Nobody wants to hang out. I'm not interested. I, it's not any fun. just want to learn the cattle ways. And nobody makes I'll, me any I'll fun. I'll ride back to the doctor and, and, get his, <laughs> and get the kid's gun back. Doc, can you, can you mind link the gun? Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> No. Is, is it possible to, to, to the exciter is telling the you to get back to your spot Thaddeus leave the kid alone <laughs> A actually what? you know what it's not Sutter it's Abby Abby's wise to your ways and Abby's <laughs> watching you torment the poor boy and she goes Thaddeus leave him alone he's not interested he was hey, he's hey, trust me let him go home he was not cut out for this anyway, and when he gets a little few, couple more years under his belt, maybe he'll do better on his next cattle drive. He's going to go but he can't go himself? yet! I am almost I done building him something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, can he at least wait to get his gun back? Jay has, Jay has oh, yeah. ridden, yeah, he has ridden off. He is, he's basically headed back. From the group. I mean, you could try to ride after him, but he is, he is, well, I was you know. trying to call after him to stop him from he, going. He didn't want to. He just, he turned around and said, this is no fun going home. <laughs> no, nobody <laughs> said it was going to be fun. And you actually thought, you, you could you tell that he actually thought this was going to be fun. This was going to be, he's a damn millennial. Oh come on now! <laughs> <laughs> does that does that only apply to one of us in this group? I think it technically applies to uh, three of us. To all of y'all, I guess they're all I guess they're all four of you millennials. I I'm the old the fart in this group. Us, I think. Because I think it goes all the way up to like he ain't that 36, to the knee, 37 years old or something like that. Yeah, basically like more than the eighties. Yeah. 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 I'm right on the edge, yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> that was going yeah. old, so. <laughs> totally have not yeah. been sitting here doing the math on how many points I need in order to build a, my Iron Man. He's wor yes, the doc has been busy. Yeah, yeah, the doc is busy away after still getting, trying to get, th th having to deal with that. He is trying to do things so, to Jay. So speaking of these blueprints I have, what do I need to be doing with them to try and actually recreate something with that? Because I can eventually fly uh, with a power, but I'm yeah. this is more like the Ghost Rock stuff. <laughs> so roll me a couple. Uh, let me go back to that. I'll pull up what those are. Oh, where am I getting all these damn bugs from? Um, It's the rain we've been having. I've noticed yeah, flies lately. Yeah. That and that's oh, no. and so I've got the windows open and probably coming through a screen somewhere. Um, yep. 
Okay. That's what I've been swinging at. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah. Um... I need a couple of science. Yeah, what are your? What's your big role? What is your? Which I'm, your weird science uh, weird rolls? Science? Yeah, yeah. Give me a couple rolls on that. Like advantage on the roll, you know. There you go. Okay, so you have spent some time with everything else that's going on, uh, and um, studying these on and off. And in the beginning. Um, they were doc, you know, when you're looking at them, these notes, it was a mechanical man when you first were looking at it, um, these cryptic notes and there were f chemical formulas and engineering calculations, but as your head cleared and, or in your moments of clarity, when you're not hearing the voices and all that, um, technically they helped me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they were, they were, that's what you thought but then you other time though has been your friend here a little bit as you continue to study them and thinking that they were blueprints but then you begin to notice that they're not blueprints in this in the stance that they're somebody's rever is reverse engineering this contraption basically a automaton basically what it's looking like and you like you know it's um, very strange um, that uh, they you know have something that they reverse in your meaning that they've had one that's not exploded on them because you understand you know with these contraptions that they can explode but this one that they're looking at and you then the formulas and the notes don't begin to really not make sense all of a sudden because they're wrong there's nothing right about these calculations that you're seeing, but that um, this you're going to have to take some more time. But you're seeing um, and we're kind of pulling out the wrong parts of the formulas, you know, and moving them around because you're seeing well this 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 oh this guy was this this looks right, but then it doesn't make sense when you come to the conclusion of what the formula was or the calculation is. Um, but you're seeing that there's some type of uh, yeah, automaton that it's going to create a metal soldier of some sort that flies. Okay. Uh, let's see. Six more sessions. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to be, it, you, you, you've got some, you've had, um, your hero finds all the information available in doing research, realize critical information when confronting some obstacles such as monster weakness. Oh, that's yours, Santi. I'm about to say, hold on a second. That's not. No, yeah, oh, I, for, I forgot okay. to get rid of it. Oh, so okay. Because I, like, I thought he threw it down like to tell me that he no. was able to get it. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Because Doc will get something like that for certain that will <laughs> that will clear him out. But that, yeah, that would be yeah. great for him, I'm sure. So yeah, so when you when you're putting the two and two together, you saw the pack, and that they somehow were able to piece that together properly. But it it the pack itself now is an offshoot or is very different from what you see in the plans and the plans are wrong and the pack that they had whoever that how that was flying was definitely not of the same blueprints of the plans of what you have in front of you that someone was trying to take that apart maybe they were taking apart the pack to figure it out and they're off clearly not your caliber of scientist doc Okay. Darn. Okay. Yes, you're you're light years above because you've already broken apart some of it and knowing that you still you still have time in front of you, but you can see that uh, there was a there was a madness to this that you just are in love with, but they were wrong in their assessment of the pack and what it could do. But now you know for certain that that pack won't work, and they'll never figure it out. At least if it was the same people looking at that plan because that pack was destroyed now there's no way they'd be able to discern anything from it anyway so but your plans will tell you that um 
All right. And why don't we hold right there then before the next deal? Dun, dun, dun. Y'all can hold on to your cards. All right. All right. Did we? Oh, when, I used one. Let me make sure I used one. Yeah. I still have three. <laughs> so, did we not advance last time? When did no, we? No, it should be no. this time, I believe. Is it? Yeah, every two sessions? Three. Uh, three. Three? three? Oh, oh, then. oh, I drag it there. There we go. No? Instead of rolling. Yeah, you made. Yeah, you t t never tell me that. Is that you? That's the one you d used earlier. Yeah. I know, I'm ace. trying to get it. Here, oh. let me see. Yeah, drag it into you drag the, it to the chat. combat. Drag it to the chat window. Yeah. Oh, the chat window. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think this is only our second section se session since we advanced. Yeah. I think because so. I've only had the um, my followers for two sessions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, got, that's right. Yeah. We missed okay. one. We missed one. Okay. Never so we got yeah. one more. One more time. And we got to. So. We got to get. The, we got to get the followers in on something here now. So you're too quiet over there, <laughs> Father. So. We'll figure something out. Okay. Father needs some action. Yes, he does. Good job. A lot of RP there. That's how this one starts off with. But we'll get into some stuff here. <laughs> um, poor Jay. They picked on Jay. He's like Drew. I was, like I was Drew. building him a super suit. <laughs> you, 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 super suit. you bring in a PC, uh, an NPC who's annoying as crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we we're gonna hold there for the night. Anybody? So we have a few watchers still. Hopefully so. Yep, yep, we do. I we do will have a be... question. Go ahead for you, Duff. A mechanic one. I couldn't find it when you're making consumables. Um. And they have multiple powers stuck into them because you can do that. But I couldn't find. Do you make an individual roll for each power or for the consumable? How do you want to do it? I. Oh, sorry. Play mm. for. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we're just finishing up for the night. Sorry, man. Um, oh. So ask me that again. So we need a, the so, rules. Like if I put a, a pill that grows somebody and makes them faster at the same time, it's two powers in one item. Normally, you activate one item to, uh, for the rules. It's normally you make one roll per activation, even if they add multiple powers, except for it's consumable, so it gets all used up at once. So do you just roll both powers and the one succeed, succeeds? or Except for then that's an action economy thing, because now they're activating two powers with one consumable. I looked everywhere. I couldn't find anybody who's ruled Text, on it. Here, let, so let, let me ask a couple other people. Would you PM me the question? I know that's a, a hard question to PM, but let me let <laughs> no, me reach out. Type, yeah, yeah, let me reach out to a couple other Savage Worlds beastoids and let me ask them how they would play it. Because I okay. good question. I mean, I would think well, you'd have to like do it. You would do it per each. Cons I mean, the consumable you've you've put in two power, just like the thing happened. They get two powers. Two things are going to happen to them, but. How do you play that off? Is what you're asking me. Um, yeah, because even mm -hmm. if you roll for each power to activate, that's fine. But then they're only using one action to basically to do two both. Devices. Yeah. yeah. So, I, it, it dawned on me earlier. I was like, well, that because I mean, I've got a bunch of powers in like the helmet, but I never activate more than one at a time. And if I do, it takes more than one action. Hmm. But when it's a consumable, that's you're a eating a one. pill. I was gonna say, like, isn't that? Wouldn't that technically just be considered like the powers are already stored in that pill? Yeah, I have to make yeah. a roll to make them and everything. Which I it, on the ones where we're making them, thing I don't normally bother making them just clutter three because it doesn't say you can't just retry. It's mostly in combat if I want to do it like quick and in a hurry. Right. Um. But yeah, so I mean, it's already made. But uh, let me ask a couple more. Let me reach out to a couple of the Savage Worlds. Um. People, I, like I said, yeah, it, it I don't was know. until I question. started thinking about making pills with more than one power and making like a, mm -hmm. a special blue. And I was like, well, crap, how do we do this? I don't you know. Simple, right? You can put it in like more than two. Again. Yeah, you There's can put um, yeah. as many powers as you want in an object. It takes an hour to make a permanent one or six seconds to make the temporary. Um, yeah. And but in the consumables. I just couldn't find any rules on it. I don't think they thought of it because most people, I don't think, are going to 
mega consumable, which powers jumped in. But yeah. unless it, but it was coming up with the the po thing I did earlier, and then whenever I finish my Iron Man suit, how do we activate all the powers at once? Is it do I need to, one action for each power, or do you power up the whole device, or how does that? I'm I think that might just be DM discretion at that point. Test the there. Is making consumables or batches no longer a thing? When it runs out of points, it's gone. They don't recharge. So everything is essentially a consumable. What is it? A potion pill, cookies? Um, yeah, that's what they're talking about. You can make as many when you make a batch as, as you have power points. And uh -huh. I think they're going to point out the you should always make a consumable because it gets a plus one if it can be. But uh -huh. I, I read that whole form. I couldn't find anybody talking about multiple powers in one consumable. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me uh, let me see what I can find on research on it for you. It's a good question. Um, what else we got here? So we will be back tomorrow night, folks. Uh, we'll continue on Waterdeep Dragon Heist as the group is getting near the end of the. They are close closing in on the vault, or actually they got stuck. Yes, um, fighting some monsters to get to the vault. Uh, and then we will then turn around and uh, they will then progress into Mad Mage, which I think 20 stories is uh, 20 sides yet. Alex, good to see you. Thanks for dropping by, dude. But they're running on his channel, so we're going to catch up. All right. Um, but anyway, y'all did a good job. I appreciate it. It was a lot of fun playing around. I mean, silly. Uh, and we will be back. Like I said, uh, we're good until the 20th. So not, next week we'll play, then we'll be off on the 20th. So. Uh, as we start the Wiz Code game. The Wizards of the Couch roundtable discussion on Monday nights. Um, all right, that's it. We're going to sign off for the night. We'll be back, like I said, tomorrow night and Friday night for the Lost Minds of Fandover group. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you later. Good night. Next night, guys. Thanks, everyone.